Zero. Listen, listen, I don't know what to tell you guys. Like, I don't understand the point of cutting the sandwich in half. Why don't you just eat it as normal? Yeah, why did you, why'd you, why'd you well, cut you it? Well, you cut it in horizontally. half. So, well, Gaijin, it's, it's let me tell you. Because if you have a messy sandwich, some of us have beards, okay? And yeah, I do too, I buddy. Don't, I don't, well... Okay, you can okay, call but that. Like, I don't no, I'm on top here. I'm oh, 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 you're having a dick. Connor. You're gonna have a dick beard contest. All right, let's go. Oh, with God, with me, you will lose. <laughs> <laughs> Please keep the dicks out of your beards. For real. That's just unhygienic. Hey, look back, the unexpectables. We're back. Oh, I'm better than ever. God, I love those cold opens. That was a pretty hot open, actually. It was pretty yeah, hot. No, that open, was pretty, yeah, that was pretty. That was pretty warm to kind of hot. <laughs> I was telling Connor. We'll, we'll talk about it when we do introductions. But we're gonna we're gonna be uh, interviewed, I think, tomorrow. And I'm like, yeah. oh, I really yeah. hope that the interviewees, like the people who are interviewing us, are ready. Because <laughs> oh my god. Because <laughs> I watched their I watched their previous interviews, and the people they had were like, oh yes, yes, of course, like very very quiet and polite. And meanwhile, I'm like, we're the fucking goon goblin squad of like, yeah, we're the we're the Ike beard we're squadron. I, I oh, actually was going to ask their on. field, but I, can I they like, wrangle children? <laughs> I, I was going to actually legit ask you, how on my best behavior should I be? Um, we'll, we'll, we'll talk probably before Let's we go Let's test live. the water. That's a very important yeah. question. <laughs> Don't be we'll figure style, it out I as think... we go, you know? They'll tell us where the line is and we'll keep pushing it a little bit further. We'll, we'll see if we can say any fuck it. words. Yeah, that's going to be a, important if we're allowed to Australia swear or not. If we're not allowed to swear, this is going to be hard. I might as well just leave that point. <laughs> <laughs> the door open and close sound. I, I have to get a soundboard just for me bleeping myself. I have to do it. It's important oh, then at that Lord. point. All right. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Unexpectable. <laughs> We're here. We're back for episode seven. Yes. Seven. Yes. 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 Back to How's pain. How's it going, everybody? Back to pain. Back to probably Eason Vale. Let's let's see what happens. Uh, but first, let's go around the horn and introduce ourselves. Gaijin Goomba, where can they find you and what are you up to? Oh, uh, you find me at twitch.tv slash Gaijin Goomba every Tuesday, Saturday, Sunday, 7 p.m. Eastern Central Time. We just had our very first actual factual Taiko Tuesday. And I'm not talking about Taiko Tachi in the game. I'm talking about I finally have a soundboard that's like really sweet and kick ass that I could hook up all my electric Taiko to. And we actually just jammed out for two hours. It was hella fun. Uh, come check that out on Tuesdays. I play legit music, well, as much as a taiko can, and, and the freaking little bamboo flute that I play. Uh, other than that, I've been obsessed with my, uh, brand new, well, uh, obsession, which, uh, yeah, I was really late to that train. Uh, I have, I have fallen in love with, with 40k orcs. I will probably have a build stream this weekend because y'all were very nice enough to get me a couple of killer cans, and I greatly appreciate that. So probably putting that together this weekend. Other than that, I'm waiting for games to finally come out. We're in the weirdest drought ever when it comes to games. Um, I'm going to take a note out of Zito's book and probably start delving into some indies because things are looking fresh on that end. That's my That's joke. I'll kill you. Uh, I'm just extending the joke. It's fine. I was on Bargain Barrel with you. Come on. <laughs> So no, it's it's good stuff. There's there's a lot going on. Brand new video coming out Saturday for patrons, Sunday for everyone else. I am talking about the most kick-ass woman uh to ever grace a samurai dumb in Japanese history. So yeah, don't miss out on that. That's me. Alright. It is uh what did they do? Mark Allen Jr., where can they find you and what are you up to? You can find me on Twitter.com at Mark Allen Jr. Here on Twitch at Aeon Pro Tech Gaming. And you can follow the adventures of my fat, sleepy cat bunny who just moved on Instagram at chonk for life uh, Yeah, I did not stream on my birthday, as you might have noticed. I was sleeping pretty much the whole day because I moved <laughs> at birthday. For three days straight. Thank you. Yeah, congrats on that. One. It was nice and chill, which is not something I usually do for my birthday, so that was cool. Um, but yeah, I'm working on getting my office set up, and hopefully I'll be returning to streams soon, question mark, TM? 
Um, possibly next week, but don't quote me on it. It could be earlier. It could be later. Who knows? If you like watching dubbed anime, check out uh, Fruit of Evolution on Crunchyroll right now. I am the lead Seichi in that one. And I'm also helping direct Shikimori's Not Just a Cutie and Aharen San Wahakaranai. So check those out. And I hope you like the work that we do. That's you might it for me. What? You, you, you might want to like translate what that means. That's the actual title. Okay. Never it mind. did not get translated for the English dub. So Why? That's what it's called. Why though? It's not up to me. Nah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you All can right. write your uh, you can write your Japanese producers. That's fair. You know you you, you know what does have a direct translation. Zito, where can they find you, and what are you up to? You could find me not translating any of my works at all and becoming a giant garbled mess over at twitch.tv slash Zito, where I'm playing, as I turn to Gaijin, indie <laughs> games. <laughs> Hi! Uh... Like I just said, there's kind of a bit of a drought when it comes to main titles. I'm just waiting for Multiverses to come out in July with a cold open for open beta. Yeah. However, uh, Grindstone, Orbital Bullet, Peglin got an update, uh, Vampire Survivors got an update. There's a bunch of really cool indies that are just like coming out the woodwork from like two weeks ago to now. So there's still a little bit of games to go before the mainline stuff comes out, and I'll be showing it off on Friday. But before that, I will also be doing a... Uh, Character design auctions, uh, because, you know, I need money, and I'd like to buy food, and that, uh, you know, doing the thing that I went to school for helps pay food, so that's cool. Uh, I'll be doing live auctions for a couple of characters on 5 o'clock on, uh, CST, uh, Friday night, uh... Oh, by the way, I do voice acting stuff. Don't believe me? Uh, I'm gonna post a link in the chat. I'm in, uh, if you guys know the character, uh, the cartoonist, uh, Zarel, the guy who also does all the funny Joel, hoo hoo ha ha Vark Skeletor cartoons, he's finally getting his pilot out, and I get to voice a really angry little cat that everyone seems to believe has been the perfect role for me, so here it I go. It suits you really well, like, just mm -hmm. for performance-wise, like, you can Which is appar sure. apparently Josh, like, actually like yelled at me just like dude i need you to read for this i'm like okay i guess you know what's wild with the worlds colliding when i was younger i actually read his pokemon comics like religiously i used to tell him i used to help him work with that stuff i loved those so much when i was younger <laughs> and it's just like oh what a small world the world the world is very very what, a million years ago when you were younger oh, so it was it was a while ago but yeah, so, yeah, you get to hear me do voiceover work. I'm going to try and do some more of it, look into some more auditions and whatnot. Uh, beyond that, D&D uh, &D stuff, uh, I just put out something extra because I'm going to take July off from writing because my birthday is on the 18th, and I will be taking a small exodus back to the East Coast on the week of my birthday. But I'll be back in time for Unexpectable, so it won't run into any problems here. That's me. All right, uh, Edward Bosco, where can they find you and what are you up to? You can find me at Ed Bosco VA on both Instagram and Twitter and right here on twitch.tv slash Edward Bosco. And time. Well done. Did we, did we that was a pretty record? good, that's a, that was a pretty, that's a pretty good all percent, honestly. Indeed. Based uh, the record. And speaking of speedrunning Monty, where can they find you and what are you up to? Oh my God, so much. Um, <laughs> so unless someone explodes, um, we are actually going to be back to Dungeon the Mad Mage tomorrow, um, which is a very, very chill. I'm, I'm running a pre-written module, which is the Dungeon the Mad Mage Waterdeep Heist kind of module. Um, they're on level three and oh boy, is it a doozy. Uh, so if you want like a very chill kind of drop in D and D thing to listen to, you can catch that. And it's also on my YouTube. I have a YouTube, so it's my stuff is there. Uh, additionally, I had my first session of Majora's Mask, which I've never played before. Yes. Oh, how is um, it? It's like Ocarina of Time was a game. This feels like a like the atmosphere is very good in in Majora's so far for such an old game. 
Mm-hmm. Um, I've liked it so far, and I'm very. I, I have seen the game before. I, I know like the bosses, and I know like the final sequence and stuff like that. But I've never actually played the game, and playing it has been really, really fun. Honestly, I've been really enjoying it. And also, I got to. Um, I won't say it just for spoilers, but I got to like the second cutscene boss of Elden Ring. I guess, for lack of a better oh, term, um, mm-hmm. uh, Master Grafman. So um, yeah, that's the time. Uh, I have to fight him somehow. Um, but I think I'll be okay. Um, be so yeah, um, Elden Ring will be sporadic. Uh, Elden Ring's kind of an impromptu stream thing. Uh, but beyond that, check my Twitter. I'm doing a lot of terrain. I got a Proxon thing and I'm doing terrain. But beyond that, yeah, just keep an eye on my things. All right. Uh, and they can find me on Twitter, Twitch, and YouTube.com slash Distortion Devil. I stream Tuesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays, 8 p.m. Central Standard Time, playing, uh some pretty fun games including the legacy of kane series on sundays uh just beat soul reaver and we'll be moving on to soul reaver 2 this sunday uh the densest game in the series by far uh i'm i'm very excited because this is where things sort of really start picking up and uh i cut out there a bit i believe yeah Mm -hmm. i heard that a little bit it's either Mm -hmm. dad noises or this so i think I like I'll just go this. ahead and try lower it a bit. All right, here we go. Uh, yeah. So that's happening on Sunday. Uh, also, another thing that's happening uh, next Tuesday. Uh, next Tuesday. I hope you're ready, everybody, because I've been talking about it for like two or three years now. Oh. <gasps> and. I finally have my hands on something. So uh, if you want to see what Dead House Sonata is all about, join me and my buddy Luke this Tuesday uh, as I play through the Dead House Sonata demo. Oh, oh shit. shit. Right, it's coming out. Well, I'll That's be real. a monkey's bare-ass uncle. It's real. Indeed, indeed. Now, I should mention... The state this the, the state this in is does not reflect what the game may be on release. I should I should mention beforehand, uh, and it, it is it is very much a tech demo, so there's not really a whole lot of substance to it. But we're gonna dig into it regardless on Tuesday. Uh, and if you're at all interested in it, then be sure to check out the link uh, that is in the chat at the moment. Uh, also check out my DMs Guild, where I'll be releasing another subclass sometime soon here. Indeed. Um, Do we want to announce now the thing that's happening tomorrow as everybody else introduced? Right. Sorry, I've been writing the intro, so I've been a little distracted. No, it is totally, totally fine here. Uh, I am just going to, I'm looking up uh, some links here. So, uh, as some people may already know on Twitter, because uh, we retweeted it, uh, Tomorrow at 4 p.m. Central Standard Time, uh, the members of the cast are going to be uh, interviewed by the people over at Dice Legends. Uh, They run their own tabletop stream, as well as interviews from people in the TTRPG and Dungeons & Dragons community. So be sure to tune into twitch.tv slash Dice Legends. That's Dice L-E-G-E-N-Z. Uh... Tomorrow at 4 p.m. Central Standard Time. That's 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, as uh, they try to wrangle us, I guess. Yeah, I hope they're ready. Be on uh, your best behavior check, Gaijin. I'm sorry. I come with no training wheels. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. Um, um, I thought I was one of the, the least offensive people. Nope, 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 nope. It's, it's definitely not me. I think it's you. Yes, yes. Surely, surely is the Arkansan and not the New Yorker. Mm, I see, I see. Wait, we yeah, yeah, no, no, it's it's, it's it's true, man. It's true. I yes, just, I just, they're, I, they're, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, they're they're New Zealand based. If I'm not mistaken, yes, they are yeah. New Zealand yeah. based. So they're they're waking up very early for us. For to which do we this, yeah. Oh. So we appreciate our our overseas friends because y'all Definitely. are troopers for sure. Definitely, definitely. But, be sure to uh, be sure to check them out as well. They've got their own fantastic content. 
Yes. Speaking of people we love. Uh, get it. Yes, indeed. Another group of people we love is the fine <laughs> people over at... I can't believe it. Every time. <laughs> almost every time. It's okay. We, we love the good people over at Die Hard Dice. Uh, Hard Dice! Hard Dice! Get some... Fantastic people working with us over over the uh, years, I guess we could say we were doing this. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Die Hard Dice has all sorts of dice and dice accessories uh, are available. Uh, if you use the code UNEXPECTABLES! Exclamation point, you can save 10% on your order at dieharddice.com. And some of that money gets thrown back to us. So we can keep making shows like this one. We can feed Austin. So he wants to... True stay with us if you know through all of you know connor farting in the microphone and whatnot so yeah, and we're actually able to give him water now too which is really cool yeah it's See, pretty important statements like this are made and then i am told that i am the offended one or offensive <laughs> one i love it uh I'm an i also want to i we recently actually spoke with diana and uh she's been posting that people and i'm pointing <laughs> at you chat i'm pointing at you right now there are still people who are buying dice and saying they're buying dice to appease diana and now it's become such a thing where they have to like let I guess I, I don't know who it is, but like production know or whoever like deals with the standards and practices. Yeah, to be like, because she I don't know if any people know this, but she actually got talked to because of us because they oh, were no. worried she was threatening people and she was raised oh, Diana. And so they eventually were able to piece it together that it was because of us. She's fine. She thought it was hilarious, and like and now everyone kind of knows and they think it's really funny. So, <laughs> but still, oh, Grace, when you buy Diana. When you buy dice, don't make Diana out to sound like she's like evil. We like her and we want her to like us too. All bound you know to Diana. Make, you know that's just gonna make them do it more, right? I know, but I feel like <laughs> yeah, you kind of try to affect the whole the thing. The chat is Lonnie. full of praise Diana now. Just say <laughs> we like Diana. Like don't don't say anything mean about Diana. You know, like she's bullying Indeed. us or something because she's no. great. She's been absolutely delightful. all powerful Diana. <laughs> All right, bits. All right. Connor, you got to turn this on. Uh, we don't minutes, have rather. We don't. We don't. Woo! Fuck. We don't have terribly much. So let's go ahead and do it. King Shinrock, thank you for the fourteen months of Prime subage. Solar Misfit, thank you for the six months of of Prime subage. Uh, back to popular tabletop game, Nathan's and Nathan's, starring Nathan. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> like Nathan. One, two, three. Thank you for the twenty-seven months. I missed a few weeks. Uh, Due to stress, but I'm finally back in live viewing. It makes me feel accomplished. Yeah. Moon Moon Alpha, thank you for the six months. Won't be able to stay long. I'll catch it in the YouTube. Uh, loving everything so far. Dr. Dank Memes, PhD, thank you for the five subs gifted to the community. An acceptable name, thank you for the 26 months. Wait, they got the money, right? Yeah. Uh, Emo Trash 19, thank you for the nine months. Weebs of People, thank you for the 16 months. It's that time already. Cater Pillar, thank you for the 23 months. Shadow the Rampage, thank you for the 21 months. 20... Well, anyway. Oh, God. Looking forward to Kai casting Barkskin and freaking everyone out. <laughs> Bill MSU, thank you for the 25 months. Wells234, thank you for the 16 months. K Macmon, thank you for the 23 months of Prime, so bitch. Stretchy412, thank you for the 23 months of Prime Subage. I wonder if Gaius will ever have a Metal Gear Rising moment while pummeling someone. Revenge in style? Standing here, I realize. Yo, who Smash. the fuck's gonna be my Crypt Keeper? Mash B to win. Indeed. Is uh, that the game with the nano machine sun cuts? Yes. yes. <laughs> I, watched, I watched a little bit of Joe Fudge playing that. Why is his butt like that? Don't worry about uh, it. It's always Why been not? like Man, that. Oh. Son. It's been okay. like that since the second not game. The not, not that character, but like the main character guy. Right. 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 It's always yeah. been yeah. like that. He's always yeah. had an yeah. amazing ass. For his butt. He's just got a okay. nice ass. That was his first introduction was butt. <laughs> Daniel Bonin, thank you for the 26 months. Started watching Gaijin Goomba. Wait, I started mm. watching when Gaijin Goomba made a little witch ninja on Greckle's Birdman. It's been very fun. Oh, boy. Mm. I still got to do the other. Oh, God, I still have to do the other one. Fantastic, Callum. Thank you for the 100 bits. Been going through a rough week. Thanks for helping me stay somewhat positive through it. Uh, Vince Babaganoush. Thank you for the five months. <laughs> <laughs> Phil Lane, 76,000. Thank you for the seven months. Seven months has been a hell of a wild ride. Thank you all so much for this. And thank you for that 10% off with Die Hard Dice. Yeah. 
Super Blue Hedgehog, thank you for the 1,006 bits. No bits, just message. Wait a second. Uh, Zenlita, thank you for the 2,000, or for the 200 bits. Uh, Connor joins the call for an interview and finds out he can't curse. Says nothing, plays fart with reverb, then leaves. <laughs> yeah. T-pose is on his way out. Uh, Silent Gamer 77, thank you for the 500 bits. Gaijin and Mark, I have a friend who wants to learn Japanese. Any advice? Uh, see me in like a week. I have a I have a secret weapon that I'm going to be uh, advertising to people. It's very very oh. good. Oh, yes. There you go. Good to see. Also, don't assume that anime will give you everything you need. No, anime, anime will give you next to nothing when it comes to real life. I need to know these words for language use. <laughs> it's bad. Just learn where the toilet is, and you'll be good. But what about I mean, food? it's very important to know. Follow your nose. Toy oh, I oh. Thank you for the 100 bits. I'll never be able to forward a PC that can handle Dead House Sonata, but I'm mega excited for it to be this far along nonetheless. Uh, Dr. Quoctopus, thank you for the <laughs> uh, nine months. Uh, more Thrandor, thank you for the 100 bits. I wanted to say something cool, but my mind froze. Indeed. Doom Knight, thank you for the 26 months. Yeah, it's been 26 months. I have requested, uh, can Bosco say I am Monty, Dad? What? No. Well, there you there have you it. Uh, Archer33613, thank you for the 100 bits. Uh, now, Bosco, mind your manners during the interview. See my previous response. <laughs> See. Protoss 103, thank you for the five bits. Uh, Zito is an angel. You can learn a thing or two from him, Gaijin. It's fucking yes. true, man. Oh, I will remember this for the next time we <laughs> hang out. <laughs> Kuro, Kami, thank you for the 100 bits. Twitch wouldn't let me raid, so here's some bits. Oh. Raw Sodium, thank you for the six months of Prime. G six months, kind of hard to believe I've been tuning in for half a year now. Uh, Glork Schnack, Eater of Children, thank you for the two months of Prime. Hype. <laughs> Zilban, thank you for the 15 months of Prime Subbage. Praise Diana. Uh, Dice Ruler, thank you for the 100 bits. Praise Diana. Raw Sodium, uh, thank you for the 100 bits. Make Diana seem uncomfortably nice instead. <laughs> uh, I don't like that. I don't feel like that's... Don't do that. It's even worse. Imagine don't... Ninjago, thank you for the... <laughs> Thank you for the 100 bits. Uh, yo, I got here before the top of the hour. Nice. Glorchnack, eater of children. Thank you for the oh 100 gosh. bits. Uh, praise the math rock god, Diana. <laughs> <laughs> math rock Hound, god. Hound of Twitch. Thank you for the 100 bits. Finally back from vacation and ready for adventure. Stellar Coyote. Thank you for the 100 bits. A bucket and Nathan walk into a bar and I'll let you come up with your own punchline. I want the final bad there, guy. The final bad guy, like to be Nathan. No, Good. <laughs> no, he, he, <laughs> needs, he needs to be our optional boss. <laughs> like Oz. Oh, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. He's our ultimate. The, he needs to be our the kid. super. <laughs> Go ahead, Connor. The su the super hard secret boss. Yeah, yep, I was about yep. to say. Like Nathan the, pops, can, can he be our Yojimbo, where we can pay him off with hot dogs? You're know, like Nathan shows up. I am matter. I am anti matter. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Salem, thank you for the uh, 11 months of Prime subage. Uh, Grimalos Prime, thank you for the 100 bits. Have some bits as I celebrate my promotion to manager after 12 years at my job. Congratulations. Nice. Oh, congrats. Congrats, congrats, dude. That's tenure right there. Uh, Magic Ninjago, thank you for the 100 bits. Memes, the DNA of the soul. Hemihead NHRA, thank you for the 27 months. Dear Lord. Wex Wiley, will you thank you for the 27 months? Robo Mom, thank you for the five bits. Praise Diana. One sweet girl, thank you for the prime sub for eight months. Real meta, thank you for the 13 months. Hey, Monty, here's a monster combo. Uh, a Wendigo mixed with a gaping dragon from Dark Souls 1. I don't I don't know what those are, so I'm... I, I think I know what the gaping bit. dragon is, though. I think, I think I've seen art You don't that. know what a Wendigo is? I know what a Wendigo is, but... Oh. Wait a it's, fucking second, I made that in TFS at the table. I, <laughs> I, I, I was on your team, Monty. 
Oh, well, I know what Hakata was, <laughs> but. Kenny Holtz, thank you. Continue. Just continue. <laughs> okay. Thank you for the 16 months of Prime Subbage. Here we go. This is going to be an interesting episode for sure. Travis, hey, Carrie, thank you for the 100 bits. Just have fun, kids. Also, appreciate Gaijin has found the wonderful world of orcs. Yeah. I can't do I, I can't do the thing. We're, we're live, so I'm, I'm sorry. I, I guess everybody just forgot about it, the crew. It's all right. I have uh, not. I miss it a lot. <laughs> Dippin' Bipples, thank you for the 100 bits. <laughs> uh, Midnight Road White, thank you for the 27 months. Gear Cannon, thank you for the 20 months. Phil Lane, 76,000, thank you for the 95 bits. Uh, Distortion Bard, Multiclass Barbarian, he is the Barbarian. Oh, and God. finally, uh, Robot to Smash. Oh, Roboto Smash, thank you for the 10 months. And Dead Trees, thank you for the Prime sub for 12 months. Uh, hey. Zito, does, does guys know what goat tastes like? Also, one year. What? No! Do you know what people taste like? Why would it you like ask? pork. That? Apparently, it tastes like pork. Yeah. Uh, I've heard chicken. Everything I've tastes like both. chicken if you if you cook it a certain way. <laughs> they said that about alligator, and it was not true. Just, just, <laughs> yes, it is. It is exactly it like chicken. Taste like chicken at all. In a, weird, <laughs> in a weird scenario, if you ever find yourself having to eat human or monkey brain, don't do it. Don't do it. No, no. That'll kill no. you. Just leave before Dr. Zhivago tells you the rest of his plans. All right. Well, with that out of the Ooh. way, uh, thank you, everybody, so much. Again, thank you this week to the artists who have sent us in some lovely art this week. It's been great. Yeah. Again, if you're new here, if you're an artist and you want to be added to our lovely slideshow, uh, you can tweet art at us at Unexpectables or the hashtag, um, and we'll, we'll add it to our lovely, like, that picture of... <laughs> Milo drowning in the grass, which is pretty good. Um, I don't like it. We can we can add it to that. So, all right. It's With like that being said, picture. it's the high five <laughs> picture of just like he's trying to reach out. The guy just slaps him on the face and pushes him back down. <laughs> <laughs> all righty. Well, with that, it's in a flames. Let's roll our animated intro and let's get into oh. the unexpectables. <laughs> When last we left our adventures, Iskan Seat Lolly, Otho, Milo Brightbeam, Gaius Agni, and Kai. The party was successful in their investigatory quest and are now on the road back to Eastonvale. After stopping in Acorn for an impromptu magic lesson and receiving an intriguing book on cantrips with a foreboding warning, the party now heads westward with their friendly companion, the Outsider, to see what horrors await them. So. Is there any travel preparations you would all like to do before you head out westward with your companion? Uh, spells are set, food is bought. Uh, we still have the bucket, correct? We do, yeah. Yeah, we do. That's Fist. all we need. 
Fists cocked and loaded. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I would like somebody for me to roll 3d20s. Let me do it. Do it. Go do for it, it, man. 15, 3, 5. Also, if my cat meows one more time, I'll have to put her put her in timeout. They were fed. Oh they God, were I just fed. <laughs> something else. Oh, she lies! I saw, that, I saw that tweet you made where it was just goblin goes. Yeah. <laughs> Monty. Thir Thirsted screaming. Yes. Monty. Wallfly. Yes. Oh, Wallfly. Wait, what about Wallfly? Oh, the rolls. I need, yes. You're right. I'm so sorry. Give me a half second here. I'm just going to go deal with my cats real fast. Awesome. Well, talk that was, amongst all right. yourselves. That was your whole half second. It's over. Can't believe, can't believe Monty lied to us. It's just part of the adventure. I, I now Would you say find... it was unexpected? No. But that's, <laughs> that's, that's... Oh my fucking god! Minus two! <laughs> I clapped! It broke new ground! <laughs> 80, 80, 80 <laughs> I, I I love that I go on YouTube and the first thing I see is a thumbnail of Rich Evans with the fucking like uh the 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 eyes from uh, Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Remember me, Eddie? <laughs> and I talk when to I killed you, brother. Like I'm back. This. I apologize. They were fed, but Goblin was in trying to get Hop to play. So it's it's chaos, Monty. Please help. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm back. Chaos, Monty. Right. So, yeah. any Not other prep? Media. Oh, right, the weather. Let's see what you've you've summoned forth. <laughs> tornadoes, Tornado. tornadoes, tornadoes. I like how we went to the exact same place, the exact same time, Zito. Oh yeah. Listen, you're in my Something campaign. There's, there's gonna be, there's not gonna be any tornadoes. Well, there might be. Yeah, Monty won't give us godless. any tornadoes. So. For, for context, I'm terrified of tornadoes. Oh, um, I love them. I, I hate them. But what about Let's cyclones? See. Are you okay with okay. cyclones? I'm okay with hurricanes, and it's really weird. But um, I'm not. One yeah, destroyed yeah, yeah, yeah. my house. <laughs> hurricanes are way worse. As you guys wake up, uh, it is colder today. There's a bit of a chill to the air, but nothing entirely unpleasant. Yeah. Um, and there is no wind whatsoever. Uh, and it is it's dry, so it's just a kind of colder day. What what's I, I don't know if we've asked this. What season is it? Right now, it's like spring. Like, okay. probably, like, early spring would be the best indicator. Oh, Sweet. thanks for telling me that. Let me go get in, and get a yeah. clock wood from Banjo-Kazooie going then. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Time for guys that... to start growing his summer coat. <laughs> just start shedding, just <laughs> foof, all at once. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. I guess it's summer. So, is there anything anybody would like to do before we head out? Just double-checking, making sure everyone's good to go. I'm good. Spells. Spells are prepped. Food is bought. Let's let roll. Oh, um, okay. let me give myself and Gaius two temp HP uh, with Sun Toast. Hooray. You got it. No, it's hoorah. Um, Alrighty. So with the Outsider, you can travel two tiles a day. Yeah. Okay. I would like someone to roll for me a percentile die, please. I'll do it. A 1d100. Scary. Four eight. Almost dead center. All right. As you guys are traveling, the outsider, first of all, this man is like, here's a shortcut, and immediately takes you off the path. Um, he seems to have like a weird sense of like, he finds these little trails in, pla in places, and they definitely cut down on your time. That's kind of the way you've kind of been like moving through. Um, but for Milo in particular, because you are very small, um, there's a lot of tall grass, there's a lot of, like, thickets <sighs> and whatnot that the Outsider himself has no issues with, but the rest of you kind of do. Um, but through his guidance, he's able to kind of bring you through, like, through some blackberry bushes and into, like, this sort of creek area and kind of walk up the side of this creek, eventually making your way back onto the main road. Um, and as you guys progress, uh, throughout the day, eventually... Night comes very quickly, um, surprisingly Quick. fast. And do you guys want to keep going or do you guys want to stop and camp for the night? Quick question, because you talked about creeks and berries and things. Is there any place we could either fish or forge? Uh, there is. With, because of the outsider being with you, you absolutely can. I would like to fish. I would also like to fish. Okay, both of you roll survival checks. 
What are the rest of you guys doing while they're doing can this? Can I can I can I use my uh tackle? You can, yeah. That's that's the only way you can. You can't fish like without oh, some manner of tool. Here's a bucket. Beans. <laughs> Where's uh, this is a bucket. Money, I don't have tackle on my tool list. Do you remember what um uh, Do you have fishing rods? I mean I, I I bought the whole kit. I just don't have it I don't have the uh modifier. That's like proficiency plus whatever. Um, it would be it would be survival, so it'd be wisdom. And if you're not wisdom. proficient, then so you'd okay. it'd be plus your wisdom modifier. And if you're proficient, you'd add your plus two. To so d twenty, yeah. right? Yeah. So d d twenty plus four, fifteen. Hey, hey, Monty. No. Yep. Can I fish with my mouth? <laughs> oh, I'm gonna say with disadvantage. Sure. <laughs> I'll take it. Maybe. I always forget. How to just do the thing to make it roll with disadvantage. Uh, Otho, Kai, and Gaius, are you guys doing anything as this is happening? Yeah. Um, I don't know what to do. Otho might, if if we're like getting ready to either set down to camp or if we're just taking a break, that would depend on what Otho would be doing. Because if we're, if we're betting down to camp, then Otho would be getting the camp site ready. Okay. That was a 12 for East Kind. 12. All right. Uh, Milo, you are kind of like, you know, casting in the river and kind of pulling in almost kind of not really fly fishing, but like kind of casting and bringing it back in and casting sure. and bringing it back in. Uh, you managed to catch a sizable, probably, I'm going to say like a, uh, I want to say like a, like a seven inch trout, like freshwater trout. Ooh. East Kind. Uh, you. Unfortunately, um, get a mouthful of water consistently. Um, and with a 12, uh, you do catch a fish, but it's like tiny. Like it's like maybe three inches. Hey, that's something. I, I it's not hoping... enough to count as a ration, but you did catch something. So I was hoping you were going to say Milo catches a giant blue lizard. <laughs> it's a 12. It's not, it's not terrible, but it's not, I, I know. you know. Uh, the rest of you guys are kind of setting up camp, kind of pushing down the, uh, the foliage around. Gaius, are you doing anything to help? I don't know what to do. <laughs> okay, I don't well, know the, what to do. The outsider kind of goes and goes, you, uh, you have an axe, right? Yeah. We could use some firewood if we're camping down for the night. Slowly raise the axe. Off he goes into the woods. Woo! All right, chop down some trees. Kind of cathartic after your incident in Acorn. Um, Be careful of undead druids. Uh, Kai, what are you doing, just to confirm? Have you ever seen those wooden dummies that people practice martial arts with? Yeah. He's going to be using a tree for that. You got it. Kind of standing against this tree, which for a second you're like, is that a human being? After, again, your incident. But it is very clearly a, a very thick, very sturdy looking tree. Um, and Otho, you kind of organize some leaves into nice piles and throw the bedrolls over top of them to make more, more cushy and, and comfortable. As you are all kind of like doing your things and the night kind of creeps in. Can I do one thing really quick? Absolutely. Go for it. Can while while Kai is like, is like taking a break from hitting a tree. Can I sneak behind that tree? No. <laughs> you want to? You trying to stealth behind it, or are you being yes. more noticeable? Roll yes, stealth I'm, check, I'm trying to sneak behind it, brother. <laughs> uh, here we go. Stealth check. Hey, notoriously bad. Oh, that man. that passed is because I'm not looking for him. What's your passive perception? Uh, it's ten. So if it meets a beat, so yeah, you actually do stealth. Okay. Yeah, I'll just. I'll sneak behind the tree. Okay. And I'll I'll wait I'll wait for uh I'll wait for Kai to turn back around. He will do so. I uh, pull out my saber and I I like wrap my arms around the tree and I say, "Come on. I you weren't expecting a tree to fight back, will ya?" Yeah. What the <laughs> <laughs> What did you how did I shouldn't be surprised. Well, come on, then. Oh, for crying out loud. Uh, hang on a How second. How about you, Vandal? 
Vandal. Does a 13 hit your arm? Uh, <laughs> uh, no, it is. Uh, All right. Misses by one. I, oh. I parry your blow. Mm. I'm going to hit him again. <laughs> Does it 12? <laughs> nope. <laughs> I can't wait so for you to crit. Crit. I can't wait for you to crit in his jugular or something. Just cut his arm off. <laughs> <sighs> Okay, you're you're better with daggers. This is cheating. Pulls the bow out. <laughs> uh, the outsider is kind of like poking the fire and kind of turns his head and goes, "Why don't you try one of those fancy spells?" Did so? Did, did you just imply that I should cast a spell on my brother? Even if I could do that, think about what you just said. I. Listen, I don't know what's going on over there. I hear you throwing things, and I assume your brother is mildly safe. Thanks. I mean, you could you could just do it on me if you wanted to. Oh, holy shit. He kind of stands up to his full height. Uh, are there any trees with apples or oranges or Anything of the sort? Oh, God, no. <laughs> it's the forest. You Berries, me? anything? There's blackberry bushes, but, like, those are thickets. Like, they're... they're. What about pine cones? There are pine cones, yeah. I'm going to talk to a pine cone. To the outsider? Yes. Okay. As you toss the, the pine cone... On the, on the ground, I want him to hear it roll to him. I'm not going to, like, throw it... Oh, okay. Screen. You're not going to throw it at him. You got it. No. Right. He can, obviously, he can't see, but I'm going to roll it to <laughs> Just his Just hits team. him in the head. Ah! Bonk! Ah! It's like that are you Goku like, scene. Are you underhanding it towards him or? Yes. Okay. How close do you want to get it to him? To his feet. Okay. You underhand and as you throw it, he actually catches it out of the air. Like, <laughs> without moving his head at all. All right. Now put it on your head. Okay. He kind of places it on his head, kind of framed Kai's by gonna, his gray hair. Kai is going to pull out the bow. Okay. <laughs> oh my Jesus I, I sheathed my um, saber and I sort of look nervously. <laughs> All right. You know what they say practice makes perfect. Eight. Come on. <laughs> uh, he's got like that pauldron on his shoulder. You shunk, hit him in the shoulder. And then the pine cone just kind of lolls off his head and then lands on the ground. And there's like a moment of pause. Mm. And then he turns and kind of grabs the, the arrow and pulls it out. He didn't take any wounds, luckily, and kind of goes, okay, um, listen, I'd make a joke about how you can't, he kind of he tosses you the, the arrow kind of towards your direction. <laughs> and he kind of goes, I joke about how you couldn't hit something, but um, that, that was close. He kind of rubs the hole in the leather where the, the arrow went through. Uh... All right. Enough. My bad. Enough of, enough of that. We need our strength. Come on and come eat. Milo's just coming around the corner. Guys, guys, look what I caught! Guys comes back and he sees the arm around the tree. Is that tree bothering you? Holds up the axe. Aha! <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Another test. Another wants to test his blade with a mighty bark knight. Aha! Uh -huh. I, I run to punch the tree. Okay. What okay. in the world are you all doing? <laughs> I think he's punching a tree. <laughs> that hits. Total damage. 12 damage. Oh my god. There's a size from... dent in the tree. And like, as you're on the other <laughs> side of it, Otho with your chest kind of pressed up against it, suddenly you just feel like an entire like full force on your body. You take no damage, but you fall backwards because it's quite the force. <laughs> Good heavens. All right, if you're all done punching trees and the like, I I'll, I'll get this uh, flaked up and spiced. Um, how, how do you like your fish? Huh? Iskan is just like, he he's just like staring at it. He's not even looking at you. You he's are just looking soaking at the... wet, by the way, Iskan. <laughs> Unbothered because this man has a large fish. <laughs> Iskan, I, I, I have to cook it first for everyone else. I hate Why? to be that guy. The outsider says, is it a, what is it, a rabbit or a fish? What is it? Oh, it's just a trout. Oh, okay. All right. We can make a stew out of it. Do you all want? It's it's not big enough to feed all of us, correct? Oh, God, no. Okay. 
It's like enough I, for one person. It's like one I guess, ration. I guess that'd be fine. Okay. He kind of takes it. You watch just expertly. The outsider just guts the fish with a dagger and just kind of takes the organs out, kind of pitches them into the woods, uh, you know, takes the whole thing and just oh. starts working it. All right. Um, well, whenever you're done, let me know and I'll, I'll uh, get that all cooked up. Sounds good. There might be some herbs nearby. You guys, for the sake of brevity, you guys go out and pick some herbs. You guys kind of do some training. And eventually He's night comes. We'll be adding the shortcuts to the map. Yeah, absolutely. The thing is, though, you're not sure how much this is going to help because you it's could the not see these, like, shortcuts. <laughs> the outsider actually knows how to traverse through the back rooms. He got us here. Yeah. <laughs> in, other words, in other words, none of us are rangers. Unfor yeah, that's, that's, that's a nice way to that's say. Presumed path. <laughs> yeah, good luck. Uh, but you guys eat a very lovely uh, trout stew. Probably Milo, you'd probably get some help from the outsider. He's got a lot of, he's got a few tips. He's just like, usually this time of year you can find X, Y, and Z. He kind of gives you a little bit of advice of just like mm. what you can find on the seasons. You know, fall's good for mushrooms. Spring is really good for like herbs and, you know, some things. Summer's really good for berries. Also, like, water is really important in the summer. Don't forget it. Like, even in places with a lot of, you know, lushness to it, because X, Y, and Z, it kind of imparts some, like, basic survival advice. I was about to say, is will, will this actually be any sort of benefit for future endeavors? Of no, looking not at all. He's just being a nice guy. <laughs> okay. I'll I'm just sorry. sit there and nod my head. Uh -huh. You are not you guys, a ranger. <laughs> you guys, enjoy your meal and bed down for the night. Fire crackling and popping. Uh, who's doing watches? Give me the darkest night. All right, I'll put you number three morning. then. Morning I can take Gaius. first watch. You got. Ugh, I got an accent warm up. He's gone. And then we have. Milo. I can take a watch. Milo, you want the darkest, right? And then yeah. He scan Otho, Milo, and then Gaius. <clears throat> what this party needs. Alrighty, so as night comes, e scan, roll a perception check for me. Oh god. I don't like how the music cut off. So I don't either. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> it's nighttime. Is this There's how it nighttime feels? Music. You you Caitlin, roll. is this how it feels? <laughs> <laughs> is it just a standard roll, Monty? It is a perception check, so it's a flat roll. Right. No no disadvantage or anything. Uh, for you, there would be disadvantage because you do not have dark vision. So yes, actually. Gotcha. You do have a campfire though, so that well, is somewhat helpful. Well, eleven. But... Okay. It's not terrible. Okay. As you kind of look around, you see something fly into one of the trees, and you hear a. <laughs> as you see, kind of an owl just like sort of sit around in a tree for a little bit, and you see it's actually got a mouse, and it just swallows the mouse whole, cool. and then <laughs> takes off into the night. <laughs> No one here but us owls. Oh! Uh, I mean, hoo -hoo. Your watch goes without a hitch. Chool. Okay. Otho, you wake up, you skin, you kind of curl up. By the way, very comfortable. The uh, the bedding of the leaves, it's quite nice. Uh, Otho, you wake up. Mm. Kind of toss another log on the fire. Go ahead for me and roll a perception check. I am going to shift so I have advantage. You got it. Uh, Perception with advantage will be. Uh, natural Damn. 20. Natural 20. As you're kind of keeping your watch, you know, a couple hours pass, and then like probably about 45 minutes remaining on your watch, as you just kind of keep an eye around in the far, far distance. You hear exactly that. You hear a howl far away. A very large, like, howl in the far off distance. And then echoing back, howl, like three other howls in response. And if I, I wait, that. does it seem like anything else happens? Nope, nothing else happens. Okay, uh, and our our bonfire is is relatively dim. I am I would imagine at this point. Fire is bright. 
Um, and in order for it to do what it needs to do, because it is it's not like today, a roar. It's not a roaring bonfire, though. It's not a beacon, but it is still light in a dark space. So Gondor calls okay. for aid. <laughs> <laughs> we can't go a fucking session without a Lord of the Rings reference. This is, all this of is Acorn indeed. knows you're here. <laughs> if it's right. not, if it's not that, it's Dark Crystal or Wizard, <laughs> or Monty Python. Uh, all right. Beyond that, your watch goes that hitch. What do you do? Uh, I will. Uh, shift back into my mostly humanoid form, and I will wake up the next person for watch, which I believe is Guy. Milo. What's Milo? Milo. Milo's next. I have the darkest. You wake up in the darkest of nights. There are some stars. It's very nice. There's just stars, and there's the moon, kind of basking in the sky, giving off faint light, but you know, not enough. Um, Be wary, Mister Brightbeam. I heard wolves, but it's probably nothing to worry about. I mean, there's wolves everywhere, though, so I guess it's, you know, not without reason. All right. Mm. Good night. Good night, uh, Otho. Good night. Good night, Mr. Brightbeam. All right. Milo, is can you roll an active perception check for me? Uh, can I guide oh, myself? Man. You can, yes, for this. Okay. Uh, perception and... Oh, be with me! Okay, so that's a 24. Pretty good. Choice. Pretty good. <laughs> huh, you're pretty good. You're okay. pretty good. Uh, as you are keeping watch, you hear, like, sh shuffling. Like, very faint shuffling. Mm -hmm. Like, movement. How far away? Really close. And as you kind of look with the 24, you see the outsider currently his hands twitching. You can see him, like, his body not like like flailing around like a fish but you can see his body is slightly moving mm -hmm. and like you can see his his nose and his lip kind of twitching in his sleep and he's just kind of like gripping and kind of loosening and gripping and and it's very strange and odd um can... with, a with a 24 you're able to determine he's probably having some kind of dream i was about to say could i do a medicine check to determine if he's either dreaming or convulsing or He's not convulsing. It's like very, like your perception was so high that you were able to pick up on it. He is clearly uh, going through a dream of some kind. Oh, is he? He's is dreaming. he? Is he wincing or anything like that? Roll an insight check for that. I one. shall. I am trained in this. Twenty three. Okay. Wow. <laughs> All right. Good roll. Um. Yes, he is. So is is a is a bad dream? Get the sense it's probably not a good dream now. I'm going to gently put an arm on his shoulder, not to not to rouse him too harshly. Like, is is there a role you can make for a gentle wake up? Uh, you just say you do. Wake it. up! Yeah. <laughs> slap! 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 Get up! You like kind of You had to shake him away. Cuts your throat open. Uh, no, I I. So this is what I do with my wife when she's like fussy and asleep. I will like I'll just hold I'll just hold his shoulder. And if that doesn't do it, it's just a very small shake. And okay. it just gets a little bit more and more. Outsider. It's hard to tell if he's awake. But the twitching <laughs> does stop. And there's a moment where he kind of reaches for his weapon for just a brief moment. And he kind of just immediately stops and he goes, Milo. Outsider, it, it's okay. It's just me. It's just me. Oh, what's wrong? Why did you wake me up? You looked like you were having a bad dream. <sighs> kind of slow, like old man raises <laughs> up and kind of like Pops reaches bones. out and kind of, yeah, you hear like <laughs> the bones popping. <laughs> he kind of rolls his shoulders and kind of sits up and he goes, I'm fine. Thank you. I, I appreciate your concern. I'd like to insight yeah, that. Yeah, <laughs> go ahead. Yeah, go for it. 11. He seems annoyed that you woke him up, honestly. Oh. <laughs> he kind of just like sits up for a moment and kind of goes, you have a water skin? Uh, I do, here. Uh, sorry I woke to, you up. I you have to put it in my hand. I can't see you. Oh, oh right. I'll, I'll just put it in his hand. He takes it and he kind of uh, kind of corks it and hands it back to you. Just kind of puts uh. it up to you and gives it back and he goes, anything on the watch? 
Uh, I think Otho said that there were actually uh, some loud howls, but pretty far in the distance. He kind of is scratching, and he stops and scratches and turns and goes, how far? I would say pretty far out. I don't think anything knows that we're here at the moment. I think it... No, they say they, they could if they pick up on our scent. Fuck. Um, we're probably gonna have to get a little wet tomorrow, or hope for rain. Oh, that's 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 fine. I can I can make that happen. Uh, if worse comes to worse, I uh, listen. I, I'm sorry I disturbed your rest. It's just you didn't look like you were getting much rest. And sorry, it's just a reflex. <sighs> Milo, I'm an old man. I had a lot of things happen in my life, and. I'm fine. I appreciate your concern. You're very kind-hearted, and I, I appreciate that, but I'm fine. I know that we all have our own scars, and I know I don't have too many at the moment, but it doesn't mean we can't look out for each other. <laughs> I guess you're right. I mean, I've kind of grown to... He kind of turns over and, like... I like to imagine Eastcan's got, like, the little snot bubble a little bit, like, you know, the cute little bubble. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, he definitely doesn't look pretty because he's got his goggles off to sleep. oh yeah yeah his eyes are like Tongue tiny sort of flopped out of his mouth a little you bit. guys are all light meat lightly snoring i imagine does anybody hear like a fucking insane snore does anyone want to confess to this no all right cool uh, uh the uh, the opposite actually when when otho sleeps he is dead quiet <laughs> he's dead like Amazing. a corpse very nice um the outsider kind of like leads and leans back and kind of goes i've seen all kinds of crazy things but, um, you know. So, um, once you're done in Easton Vale, what's your plans after that? Or is there more to be done, do you know? I don't know if there's going to be more to be done, but um, there's much more for me out there in the world that uh, I am, I feel like I'm kind of responsible for. It's a lot what's of... What's that? It's a lot of bad opinions and thoughts about people like me and my family and my faith and your faith tell me you don't worship a demon that would be bad no actually um uh, i i was attempting to ruthlessly slaughter a demon actually but uh you know, that's that's neither here nor there right right i, I forgot about that i'm sorry i'm still kind of half awake <laughs> let me let me ask you something outsider i know you can't see but have you ever felt the sun? His head kind of lulls towards you, and there's sort of like a slow pause to him. He goes, one could say so, yes. There is a certain gentle warmness to it, something that's comforting. That's something that I feel is kind of at a threat right now. I don't know exactly everything about it, Da's only told me so much, which isn't very much even for Da, but, um, no, I, there's more for me to do. I, I want to bring more of that good feeling back to more people. And it's a long road ahead. The outsider kind of, like, leans a little bit, kind of, like, lolling the head to the side. Mm -hmm. Do you worship Orem? I will take his hand and I will place it upon my right hand so he can feel the emblem. He kind of runs his hand over the emblem and surprisingly, he kind of brings his hand away for a second. Hmm. Yeah, I've, I've gotten that response a couple of times. And what do you think of the people who've made it that that is the response that you get? I don't know any of them. I don't like to be judgmental, but I would say that they're not true worshippers. They're not you get to, true. And you get to decide that? No, but it is my choice to make that decision for myself. It is, uh, but you should never impose that on others. No, I don't plan to. I, I don't know if you know this outsider, but um, out of all of us, I think I'm the only one that actually has a, a faith, so to speak, and that's fine. I love all my companions all the same. Hmm. You didn't really answer my question. You're talking about yourself a whole lot. These people who would look at an old man like me who can't see their precious son, 
would not look so kindly upon them when you don't see them as brothers or sisters? I hope in my heart of hearts that whatever happened that besmirched the name of Orin and the worshippers of Orin are brought to justice for whatever they've done. And I hope that they can come back to the right way of thinking. So the answer is yes, then. I suppose it's complicated. Again, I don't know everything and I'm still kind of green and fresh faced on the whole matter, but um, I suppose so. The first step to changing people's minds is accepting what is there. Don't duck your head in the sand. There are people who worshipped Orin who did terrible things. He stops at that. And they are just as much your brother and sister as you would like to think. But like your brother and sister, you have to be there to help. But you cannot look away. Outside of what? Do you know what happened? I know a bit. Like I said, I've traveled quite a bit. I, I, I heard from Otho that there was some kind of eclipse. I can only know, I can only guess that that's something terrible. <laughs> I, I heard about an eclipse, but I didn't see it. Listen, mm. you've got a good head on your shoulders, but be careful that your faith does not become self-righteousness. It can be dangerous. I understand. I'm going back to fucking like, sleep. <laughs> he rolls over That's and lies fine. down. That's if fine. You hear, I got... If you hear any more howls, wake me up, please. No problem. Last thing we need is an ambush in the middle of the night. <sighs> Good night, Milo. Good night. He's just going to spend the rest of his watch just kind of looking down and being really contemplative about all of it. I would say, nah, you could probably... At a surface level, you can understand his perspective, right? Like, of you course. would know. There's there's a certain... I, I. The question is how you think Milo would feel about it, you know, a person who can't see the sun, yeah. right? Yeah. Like, anyway, your watch goes, luckily, despite what the audio <laughs> may suggest, uh, there are no He's howls. Good. Like, <laughs> and Gaius, you were woken up for your watch. By, by, by the way, uh, when you first woke up the outsider, you basically just got like Master Shake. I am 30 or 40 years old and I do not, <laughs> not need this. I do not need this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's an old guy and you you woke up Grandpa in his mat nap and he's like, <laughs> but you know. I don't want Grandpa just, to have a bad dream. <laughs> I just wanted to say good seeing you too. Yeah, you. thanks. All right. All right. Guy, all right. Gu guys, guys, come on. Shoots up, like hops to his feet, uh, stretches. I'm a very early person. What could I say? Uh, you could say that you're a very early person. Um, sorry. Uh, if you hear any howls, be sure to wake up. Um, uh, the outsider. He's talking about how if we don't have any rain, we may have to get wet because they uh the the wolves catch our track or something like that. Hmm. Before you head off to sleep, I I put the bucket down. Mind filling it up? I had the bucket. Uh, hey, you, you know what? I've, I've got, fr I've got, I do have it prepared and, and ready, and we haven't gotten our full breast yet. So, sure, I'll go for it. I'll drop you. You drop me some water? Good. I'll fill uh, up your bucket. <laughs> hmm. Uh, Monty, what would constitute like trying to cover our tracks or like at least like, like, you know, use the water to like douse our, tra our location? Uh, you would know on a surface level that is probably not what the outsider meant, and he was intentionally vague. So you're not sure what he meant. Yeah, but, but this is say, Gaius, though. Yeah, roll a survival check. To <laughs> this is Gaius, though. <laughs> yeah. This 15. 15? Fuck it, dump water on yourself. Why not? Sure, I wake up, I'm fucking fresh, I'm ready to go. <laughs> yeah, you're ready to go. Uh, right. A perspective. Uh, perspective. Oh my god. Percep a perspective. perspective. I'm wet. Perspective, perspective, perspective check. check. <laughs> you look in the reflection of the bucket and like, like, like. <laughs> this is who, this, this you go ahead and roll. Like, this is who I check. am deep inside. Uh, <laughs> nice. Natural twenty. Natural twenty. 
Oh, unfortunately, good natural 20. I might carry it over for something else, but nothing happens while you're resting, unfortunately. Uh, you kind of keep an eye out, kind of wash yourself in the water a bit. Um, and as the dawn dawns, I need Gaius, since you were the last person on watch. I would like you to roll me three, uh, three d20s, please. Oh boy, this again. Yep. Woohoo! 14, 10, 4. All right, let's see what we get. Uh, it is a lovely day, so it's warmer today, specifically. Uh, and da, 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 da. Uh, again, no wind and no rain. It is a clear, sunny, beautiful spring day as you all kind of wake up and uh, stretch. And the day is yours. Ah, good. Our last day before hell. <laughs> I, I guess, I guess while just passing the time, Gaius will just like take out his bronze discus and just like throw it up in the air and catch it just like as a little like wake up do exercise. Some, do some frisbee golf early in yeah, the morning. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. All right. You guys pack up your camp um, and make your way on the road. And specifically, the outsider kind of turns all you and goes, you guys okay with getting your feet wet? Uh, yeah. I think that's right. fine. We're I'm walking okay. in the creek. Let's go. Oh. Oh, boy. It's fine. It's shallow, but it'll mask our set. The last thing we need are man-eating wolves attacking you right before you head into Easton Vale of all places. A uh, question about that. Um, do you think yeah. that the wolves would follow us into Easton Vale? No, nothing goes into Easton Vale. Well, nothing we're going to. Anything. Nothing that should. I don't... <sighs> I just hope I don't step on any rocks. I've got city feet. It's also strange as the as this point is like in the water. The outsider kind of goes and it goes. It's kind of strange. The wolves of Hearthland are incredibly weird. It was the best way to best way to put it, honestly. Well, watch, there's a rock on here. Careful, Otho. He kind of keeps walking. Okay. I'm, I've, I've taken my boots off, by the way, while I'm trudging oh, through yeah. this, and I've, like, hoisted my pantaloons up. I imagine yeah. I'm almost waist-deep in this thing. It's a little deep for you, Milo, but <laughs> it's it's not terribly deep. It probably yeah. goes up to, like, for the average height person, like, maybe, like, probably four inches below the knee. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, as you guys kind of walk the outsider, continues with pleasant talk, and it's just like, so, how much do you guys know about Hurslin? Uh, not much here. Uh, Anyone mostly else? Mostly what you told us the last time we met. I didn't tell you that much, though. Enough for a path, uh, pathways travel to Easonvale, and then after that, it's a blank. Well, hmm? if you ever come back through, uh, obviously the wolves, you've first-hand experienced that, and hopefully not a second-hand experience. He kind of looks, kind of lulls his head behind all of you and just kind of listens and keeps walking in the water. Um, if you ever go, uh, east of Hearthland, uh, there was actually a war recently in Hearthland, specifically on the, uh, eastern borders there. I do know that the royal families pulled back a lot of their troops. Well, I'm there's a ceasefire related. now. It is, yeah. There was some conflict over land, uh, Again, uh, my knowledge of it, I wasn't quite present at the time. Um, but there were some uh, fights between Hearthland and Dalvaria over the ownership of some land, important land to both of them. Um, yeah, there was quite the fighting on both sides. A lot of lost men, but there is now a peace, luckily. So, unfortunately, because of that, these western reaches have been completely un... Uh, I don't want to say abandoned, but the Support has been something to be desired, I suppose, is the best way to put it. Yeah, so. when people fight over land, it's only the people who suffer. Yeah. But you always find good work in the West. In the East, well, just be careful who you work for. There are some people who are a bit sour that the war had ended. Uh, with, the, with the words of work... In in his ears, <laughs> guys' his ears ring up. What's beyond the west of Easonvale? The west of Easonvale. Uh, he kind of thinks for a moment because again, he has no visual thing here, and he's thinking. He goes, 
I think Athol. Cass Eastonville is Athol. Yeah, Athol. I, oh man, I fucking hate going there, to be honest with you. I take Wolves any day over Athol. Not that it's terrible, not- but it's, um, it's a little, uh, I don't know how to describe it. Uh, a lot of um, the main, if I had to kind of summarize it, Hearthland's biggest problems are the wolves, the most immediate, most you know, perpetual problem, and, and Athol's is demons specifically. I would argue, amongst other dangerous things. But uh, wait a minute, so my- those that comedy troupe that we stopped from summoning that demon were they from? Athel, where were they from? What did the poster say? Oh, I don't remember. I think, actually, I do have my notes for that. Hold on. Ooh, uh... Did I leave uh-huh. it in my... Maybe I left it's it in a... my... Oh, I wrote it down. I know I wrote it down. Uh, they were from Via Sulai. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, I, I guess I guess guys will just answer yeah. back like somberly. I love like... that before I even found it, Shahalam already messaged me. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, I'm ready! And then she sent it to me, and it's like, oh, I already got it. It's in my notes. I'm trying to take better notes, but... You were saying, Zio? Uh, I guess guys would just, like, actually be the first to answer that back. No, it was from VSLI. Ah. Mm. Wait, so, Outsider, you're saying you've been through Easton Vale before. Before the he kind of waves generally <laughs> in like a spooky way, yeah, I have been. I mean, it's not a long way to go through. It's not a very large country. It's you know, it's kind of tiny if one were to argue. But um, I have. I've been through. Nothing really of note. It's just a pleasant little kingdom. Um, shame how, to see what happened to it. How far exactly have you traveled? Uh, I mostly have kept to the south. I've been to, oh God, so he kind of begins the recount. He goes, I've been to Marallo. I actually have done quite a bit of work in Marallo. Um, I've been to Boulder. I've been to a lot of Hearthland, a little bit of Delvaria, um, a little bit of Chelstonia and the in-betweens there. Um, let me grab my map, actually. Hold on. He's been around. Yeah, he's been around. Been down right? every road he's in this also... here land. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, I've been in, uh, yeah. Uh, Athel a little bit. I, like I said, I don't like Athel. Hearthland, Martorallo, definitely. Uh, been to Ironkind, but briefly. It was for a delivery job. Uh, Delvaria, there's, there's a town there that's like a big kind of gambler's town that Again, people want escorts for if you get if you're traveling and you can get in on an escort job, like it pays pretty good coin. Um, <laughs> uh, have that been be quite to, dangerous. Have been to Eltmer, which that place is rather interesting. It also was had a big war. I think was it 22, 23 years ago. I can't remember. Um, as he's talking about Eltmer. If anyone's paying attention, uh, Eskin's expression will kind of sour a little bit. Yeah. Um, and then, like I said, I've been to Boulder, Atrin. A um, little bit of Volar, but I don't really like that place. I have been more than several times. There's plenty of cliffs to walk off of, so I just don't go there. Um, but, yeah, no. Kind of southern album, mostly. So many places to take jobs. Yeah, so many places to explore. Um, again, each kingdom is of its own nature, so don't presume each one is similar. I mean, Harthalyn and Delvaria are night and day indifference, and uh, I won't say I, I condone war, but it makes sense for the two of them. But the oh, seasons that... are. Hmm? Go ahead. Uh, I, I was going to ask about more about the war, but please go ahead. I was just going to say. Uh, are there any kingdoms or countrysides that we should stay away from? Not due to monsters or anything like that, but political landscape or anything like that? I've heard rumors, and again, don't I'm not exactly the best at this. I'm, I'm just kind of points out, like, I hang out here most of the time. Uh, Via Sulai has a lot of corrupt politicians, to my knowledge. A little bit under the table stuff pretty frequently, so... 
I would say the average person in Via Sulaya is quite nice. The people there are great, but the powers that be tend to be quite corrupt. Um, oh, splendid. For, <laughs> for <laughs> all of you magically inclined, I've never been there. I never intend to go there, but Trace Scalden is not a place you want to go if you can do magic. And where is that? Oh God, he kind of, he's like, you you can see him sweating as you're walking through the water and he's like <laughs> trying to figure out like, this man has never seen a fucking map in his life. Uh, and he's kind of just walking. Hurts. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I think, I want to say, I'm going to roll for this to see. <laughs> oh, it's somewhere near Volar. I don't know. Or is it near Chelstonia? I don't... Oh, uh, fuck. I'm sorry. I don't know. But, yeah. It's perfectly all right. <clears throat> Just oh, curious is all. But I've also been to uh, Meadowfield and Sebas, but again, briefly, like just on the corner, mm. the edge of the country is most of the time. So I wouldn't know anything about those two. How long have you been active as a mercenary out of curiosity? Oh, gods. Uh, I want to say 15, 14 years, give or take. Kind of got bit with the wanderlust bug, as people put it. Uh, Monty, this is going to be a weird question. Mm -hmm. Would I recognize him? Recognize him? Yeah, go. Uh, I would say no, absolutely not. Okay. Yeah, no. All right. One can, one can only hope we can have just as much of a uh, successful tenure in adventuring as you have. Uh, it takes making friends and being wise. I mean, obviously, don't trust everyone blindly, but don't expect people the worst in people. Really good okay. piece of advice. And this is the best piece of advice I learned from a friend. If you mistrust people, they become untrustworthy. Oh, I see. I grab Kai by the shoulder. Kai, I'm only half those things. I'm only one of those, and that late one is not something I'm good at. Oh, okay. We'll uh, work on it. Bad adventurer. Can someone to roll me a D100, please. <laughs> oh, uh, okay. okay. All right. Bad adventurer. Go for it, he's can. <laughs> Kai, <laughs> Kai will lean back to Gaius and go, I mean, if you write the book, then yeah, you're an adventurer because it's your story. As uh, you guys 87. continue walking, you no longer hear wolf howls. You've lost them. Hooray. Woo. Cool. And eventually, you guys eventually make your way out of the water. Your ankles are so cold, and like your <gasps> finger, your 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 toes are all pretty. But you make it out of the, river, the creek, rather. Actually, it's more of a stream, I guess, would be the most accurate way to put it. Make your way out of the stream. Eventually, somehow, you're not sure how this man does it. Find yourself back on the road. Uh, and you briefly see that sign that says, like, do not go, you know, danger do ahead. Enter. Don't enter, do not enter the Eason Vale. Completely I'm ignore joking. it. Chokes uh, on you, sign. And make your way to, to the edge of Eason Vale as night begins to descend. Uh, I wonder if it might be good that we step back a little, uh, back a little bit. I, I've heard that Let's... we don't want anything coming out of that, that might be a problem. <sighs> yeah, I'm not in a rush to go back through. Maybe we camp for the night and head out in the morning. Yeah. Right, but not too close. We don't want any zombies coming out okay. at us. Uh. Okay. <laughs> so, for the sake of brevity, you guys make a camp. There's no encounter, uh -huh. so you don't have to worry. Because I don't right. know that. Well, that was a, that's what the percentile door was for. Um, you guys make cool. camp for the night. Eat your rations. Make sure you write off your rations. You bucket right. it. No worry about your water skins. And mm -hmm. Walter. Uh, I, I did have one question for the outsider. Yeah, sure. As he's kind of like setting up another campfire. Mm, just sort of a security question. Yeah. Uh, the things that wander out of the uh, out of Easton Vale. If 
if they get encountered and they get, you know, put down, do they stay down? I, again, I haven't seen it myself. I fought the undead before, but nothing of them remains when they when you kill them here. You'll cut them down and they just kind of kind of makes like a hissing noise and kind of wiggles his fingers and then they're just gone. So I don't know. Okay. That's all. Mm -hmm. all right, you guys bed down for the night. Take your respective watches. Again, nothing happens. No encounter. And okay. I need someone to roll me a weather die. I'll do it. Roll them 40 <laughs> math rocks. 17, 3, 11. Okay. Again, uh, hotter day. Clear, no rain. Um, but it is quite hot. And yeah, the outsider kind of kind of packs up his things and it's just like, you're a better gauge of this than I am. Uh, where uh, are we close? I, I think we could find our way from here, but um, outsider, if I may, where hmm. might you be in the in the coming months? Like the next maybe month or two? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I'm probably going to head eastward. Um, I'm probably actually going to head to... Uh, sorry, I'm just checking my map right now. How can he check a map he doesn't have? I'm checking the map. <laughs> Shut your face. <laughs> he has That's blind so sense mad. just for this moment. <laughs> it's All in right, Braille. He's okay? going to see Lolly here for map quest. <laughs> <laughs> I'm probably going to head to Erin Carr. Usually get consistent, consistent work there. Uh, where is that? I would show you on a map, but he just waves his hands in front of his face. Yeah. Well, I, I could mean, you give us some we, verbal we just, directions? We just keep reminding this man of what he doesn't have. <laughs> where where would it be? Where would it be close to? Uh we were in Trist, right? I yeah, in Trist yes. and then Acorn, so relative if to there. The road east out of Trist hit Mussack Stone's Crest. If you head north, northeast, um. And then, again, I take the woods most of the time. If you head northeast, you'll hit another town across the bridge. Um, and then if you just straight shot, just straight east, you should see Aaron Karn. Or hear it, at least. Hear it's quite, it's, 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 a, it's a big town. East you mentioned you get lots of... of... Go ahead. Still, go for it. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> you mentioned you get lots of work there. Is there a uh, certain state of affairs there that requires a lot of uh, mercenaries? Uh, it's near, it's centralized, first of all, in the country. Um, so a lot of mercenaries, bounty hunters, adventurers like yourself tend to congregate there, if not for the capital city. Um, it's also near a wood, which is just rife with wolves. Uh, so again, good hunting there. Um, and it also tends to be a trade port where a lot of caravans come through heading east into Delvaria, which is good for escort work as well. I see. So it's just kind of a, a good job hub. I mean, it comes and goes with the seasons, right? Um, but I don't know. I'll probably be around there. I can't guarantee I'll be there. I mean, man's got to work, but um, I tend to kind of go back there. If not the capital city, I tend to also go back there. I've kind of, um, don't want to... It kind of like puffs up his chest and kind of like cricks his neck a little bit and kind of rubs the back of his neck. He goes, I don't want to boast or anything, but I'm particularly well liked in the capital city. So I tend to find some work there as well. It's nice to be admired. It is, yeah. Uh, sometimes I eventually find myself back in Martorallo, but it's a dangerous road to take. And But the work there is usually, whew, it's well paid. That is for sure. Have you been back recently? No, I haven't. I've not in a while, but I have a few contacts there, eh, upper crust sorts, um, who like a personal bodyguard sometimes when they come in on emissary missions to other countries, right? Gaius is vibrating right now. Hearing I all see, I see. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Well, any more questions before I go? Uh, no, not of me. Well, I hope I, I get to meet you again. That would be good. I've kind of come to like you. You're all, you know, you're young and stupid, but I kind of admire that in a way. I guess we'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> it is a compliment. I, I, I mean that in the best of ways. It's hard to find go-getters sometimes, like you folk. Just willing to help for the sake of it. That being said, don't starve to death, because, you know. Well, I don't think we're in any danger of that. I look over to Milo. He blinks. I mean, Walter I could take care of, but um, I still gotta find something to cook. Fair enough. Well... I don't like standing wherever we're standing. It's giving me the heebie-jeebies, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna head back to Acorn, make my way through probably to Stone's Crest, and see where the wind takes me for the most part. Well, best of luck to you then. <laughs> to you as well. Kind of gives a wave, and he turns, and you hate to see him leave, but you love watching him go as he Whoa. disappears into the woods. <laughs> Does he have That's a cool. thick butt? Is that, no, is, he does is not. That part <laughs> is he caked like, up? He like fucking does he have the dumpy? Dude's, dude's, dude's a badass. I just want to point that out. Ass. Yeah, but how bad is his ass, Monty? That's what we're wanting to know. That's Listen, the question. The artists want to know. I The artists can deal, all right? <laughs> Damn. All right. So, Slaughtered artist. Slaughtered. I do hope we live long enough to see him again. Yeah. Well, best we deliver the package then and be on our way. <sighs> um, Monty, I'm actually gonna feel to make sure the orb's still or the the bead's still there and it's not pulsating or doing anything weird. It's a ghost now. <laughs> it's a ghost horse now. <laughs> uh. Point of clarification, are you touching it directly with your skin or are you just touching where it is? No, I'm touching skin. where it is. I, no, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I am, look, I, I, I don't want to get, I, I do, I do not want to get Eye of Sauron. So I am, I am <laughs> holding it, uh, within the bag and looking at, see if it's doing anything weird. All right. It is glowing as per normal. It is not doing anything weird and it is there. Okay, I don't want to. Milo touch looks it. up at everyone after touching it. Why should we fear its power? <laughs> <laughs> right. What is it called? The Galantlia? Or... Uh, no, the Palanthia. Palanthia, that's what it was. Uh, all right. All right, so you guys stand in front of that giant fog wall that reaches as far as the eye can see. I'm really not excited about doing this again. I'm not sure any of us are, Mr. Cedar Lolly. Then let us rip the bandage off first and very quickly. Uh, Eastman's gonna just grab the hands of who's ever closest to him. Uh, let's stick close like last time. All right, everyone, bunch up. I'm buddy system. <laughs> I know it will not matter, but he thinks that it will. Milo will cast light on his shield and put his shield in front of him while he walks the front. As you guys. Not even getting close, but like maybe like five feet away, you see the fog, the hands kind of growing out and like reaching towards you all at a distance this time, kind of like scraping out these kind of gaseous hands of fog. And as you all go in as a group, you hear those voices again. And Milo, I need you to make an athletics check as you oh, feel do something grab the bag where the orb is. Oh, good. I have a little strength. Come on. Come on, lad. 19. Hey. 19. That's all a of good you strength. feel as you're holding on to Milo, like Milo is being pulled, and the rest of you all as a group, and Milo with your own sort of forging ahead, burst through on the other side. And where... Herthlin was vibrant and warm and had sound and light. You return again to Eason Vale, this damnable place. The sheet of fog that rests eternally on the ground 
the plants with no color, the lack of wind, the lack of sun, and how just barely the temperature is just so uncomfortably cold. Not enough to hurt you, but enough to be noticeable, and especially going from that fresh spring breeze as you are back in Eastonville. All right. We did it before. We can do it again. The text pops up in front of us. Endless river or timeless river. No. So <laughs> I can put you in either this tile or um, this tile above, depending on what you want to do. Okay. I have a stupid idea and I want to above game pitch it to you all. Just go directly west. What, like through the forest? Yes. Uh, I, as I said, it's a stupid idea, but it's the fastest way. Uh, just up top, I'd be against it because we know exactly what we're getting into if we just retrace our, our steps. And we do know yeah. that we have we do know that we have a safe house, at least one on the way. We know that there are uh, there's that holdout of one house was not safe. Are you kidding me? OK, no, listen. <laughs> we have we have we have the safe house of orange temple and then we have i think it was pulmonada 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 had the uh that organization there we're already good with them they'll let us back in hopefully i mean unless they're all murdered by zombies but you know at, at least we at least we know the thing is we also know the terrain we will have yeah. some, some semblance of an idea of what to look out for and we there have a map <laughs> the gray shroud specifically oh okay like i said fastest way possible if we want to just like fucking beeline it but i understand i'm I, assuming I you guys would... are avoiding a rain yeah yeah yes okay. all right so you're going straight into kill so... then yeah i think or so Clem, rather apologies yeah. sorry yes connor no, I was just I was just trying to see if what what direction we were going, but this has answered it. Okay. Sorry, my stomach's making weird noises. If you can hear it, it's like. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. I I I what is it saying? Don't want to like poo poo all over your ideas, Zito. No, 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 dude, it wasn't a poo poo. I was just like, all right, you know what? Fine. I, it was. I just wanted to put that out there. I'm like, yo, we could just like fast travel this shit if we want to balls it but we don't have we, to we did already mm. encounter undead trees in a land that didn't have an undead problem i'm not <laughs> i'm not sure i want tree to do more undead two. Tree. <laughs> tree and two Alrighty, i'm gonna put you guys on kill mm -hmm. okay. one 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 bat this is a safe down zone the oh, i'm sorry oh it's okay it's all good so Notably, no other checks here. The weather is consistent and never changes. It is it's always Seattle. this gross. It's always foggy on the ground. It's very treacherous too, as you realize. Being able to to see, past, especially for you, Milo, mm -hmm. you guys can barely see beyond your feet. Like if you were to walk into a pit, you could just walk into it without seeing. Like your vision is definitely impaired here. Um, but as you guys make your will to kill, you guys write off a ration, write off your water skin. But I'm assuming you you make more water. Yeah. You'll save we have free water. I gotta check my notes here real fast to see what these spots were again. Uh, so that I believe was the danger house. Do not uh, enter. Yeah. Danger house. Or was the lockbox the danger? No, house? the lockbox was the carriage, the garage. Oh, oh that's you right. Did it's not the fucking cabin phone. from Phasmophobia. Okay. It's okay. a carriage. Carriage. All right. As you guys are walking, you make your way past that little notable house. And as you guys approach it, you notice the door. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, no. Let's go around it. It's now open. The front door oh. is open. Uh, who wants to hide in the bushes? <laughs> whatever, whatever was in there, it escaped. Let's get the fuck out of here. Gonna get just gonna squat down in a bush and yeah, let, slowly let's just, walk let's just away. Go around and not have anything call attention to ourselves. Group self check. Oh boy, we're terrible at this. Ooh, this is gonna go great. Mm -hmm. Six. Six. Eight. High five, Zeno. Yeah. <laughs> we're terrible. Ten. Oh. Okay. Twelve. 
slowly going up. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Help! Does anybody have like a, a side character that can roll? <laughs> where's Nathan? The outsider we need Nathan. from another place. Uh, where's Nathan? Can the bucket roll? Yeah, where's Nathan? Nathan might have been what was in that house. Um, oh shit! Oh fuck! Oh god! As you it's guys really kind of, as you guys kind of skulk and make your way through, you do get the eerie feeling you're being watched. Uh, how about fuck stealth? We just run. Let's book okay. it. You guys start running. Yeah, Scooby Doo running. Yes, yeah. yeah. Uh, Let's fucking book it the fuck out of here. All right. Now here's the question: Do you guys run until you're exhausted, or you just run until you think that you're clear? Uh, I would vote. For, I would vote for the latter. Yeah. Yeah. We don't run right. until we think we're clear. Hot unawares. You got it. So I would say. Sorry, I'm moving the wrong thing. Ignore that. That got moved. There we go. Oh, no, the cave moved. <laughs> Oop, right there. Alrighty. You guys run and eventually make your way. Uh, actually, you would still technically be on this tile for the night. Do you guys stay the night or do you guys keep going? Uh, this is the, the carriage, right? No. Not this, this area. This is oh, the no, horror no. house. You have, to, you have to complete this tile first before you can move on to the next one. This is the murder house. I have a question for everyone. Do we want to completely screw over our sleep schedule and travel at night and sleep during the day? It would be I mean, easier to take watch. I, well, if I recall correctly, the difference between night and day in here isn't that stark. It's not about the environment. It's us being able to perceive the environment. Yeah, but the sunlight doesn't penetrate anyway. So it, it's just monotone all day, every day. Yeah. Also, Connor, you're making noises in your microphone. God damn it. Well, money just above game. Mm -hmm. Do we have do we have better sight during the day than at night, or is it just all bad all the time equally? It's it's better during the day. You can see farther. I mean, farther in quotation Quotes. marks. I mean, there's still yeah. a big wall of fog, so it's kind of like either have the darkness in the fog or just the fog. So it's kind of lose lose, but one is like a double lose in a weird kind of way. So y'all take that for what you will. I don't want to be in the same cell where whatever the fuck when Nathan escaped the house. I don't want to be here. Fucking Nathan. But we also Crazy don't Nate. want to necessarily like Have run exhaustion. ourselves into exhaustion and then end up in some sort of encounter where we're exhausted. even worse situation. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and, then, and then we're going to be put in a situation where someone gets dragged back into the house because someone rolled a very piss poor perception check, Zeno. I would vote that we still camp so we keep our our energy up and we're not rolling penalties. I that's hate just it. Take shifts. I, I I vote against, but that's me. All right. Okay. So we have what? What about one, what about Kai one against one one exhaustion uh, for me? I would rather not be running around here with with disadvantage checks even more. So just based on our luck anyway, we don't need disadvantage on top of that. So I'm for camping. All right. What All is right, the I'm watch? Out. What is the watch order? Uh, I would assume it's the same. Sa same as before because of dark Probably vision. Same. You got it. No outside. All right, Eastken, roll a uh -huh. perception check, please. Uh, disadvantage. Uh, yes. Eh. Oh boy, that's a nine. Hear your heartbeat in your ears. He doesn't have those. I do too. Shut up. I do. <laughs> <laughs> and each time you kind of turn your head, you wonder if you've seen movement in the corner of your eye. Your watch goes without a hitch. <sighs> Go Otho. wake up, Otho. You can tell uh, that Eastgen is very much like on edge. Yeah, oh, I will. I will shift, and then I will do my watch. Okay. Uh, that's going to be another natural twenty. Nice. The entire time, you swear you see things moving, but it is just the fog playing with your mind. And your watch goes without a hitch. Milo, perception check, please. Mm -hmm. Man, you're just on a roll with those hard rolls. Double 12s. Okay. 
again, you swear you see in the far distance, like a woman just standing on the road, just staring at you. You kind of freeze up for a second. And then they're gone. Sorry. Beyond that, the watch goes without a hitch. Okay. Gaius, perception check, please. Can I vote to pass over that that 20 that you said I could carry over? I'll allow it. Yes, Nothing please. Happens. You're good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Sweet. Gaius has been guys. awake the entire time. <laughs> As you guys make your way, you run past the carriage. Still in the exact yeah. same state it's been in since you first saw it. Half on fire. And since you we were never not set it on fire. fire. And you guys, uh, actually, roll. Okay, yeah, you're totally fine. Another day of rest. Right off another day of rations. Water. No need to do watches. <laughs> and you guys make it to Pulmonada. Like Pez dispensers opening our mouth. <laughs> when you reach Pulmonada, Iskan, with your passive perception. When you guys enter town, kind of to where all the buildings are, East Ken, you see movement coming from the center of town. You hear a large sound, like a... Oh, no. Um... Do, do I recognize the sound? Uh, I would say with the passive perception, it sounds gross. <laughs> cool. <laughs> gross. Uh... <laughs> As as we sort of enter the outskirts of town, Eastcan will sort of hold up his hand for a second. Oh, hold on, guys. This I... this is a large town. You're not on the outskirts. You're in the town at this okay, point. Fair enough. Yeah, it's 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 pretty big. So, uh, hold on, guys. I I'm hearing something that doesn't sound right. But I should... as the rest as the rest of you kind of hear it. You do hear it. It sounds kind of like. Bamboo wind. This is such a weird description. It sounds like, like, rolling sludge, with like bamboo wind chimes just kind of being moved around subtly. Is it like? Is it like sludge? But there's a deer scare like slapped in there as well. No, it's not like a like a impact noise. It's more like things kind of bumping together lightly. Ah, okay. Yeah, friction, I would say at friction. this. I would say at this point, anyone who wants to roll an active per, uh, perception check, as I assume you guys are currently like Ooh, hiding near a scared. building. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm quite scared. 18. Uh, <laughs> and I will guidance myself. Ten. 23. This will just be a normal one for me. Oh, that was almost another natural 20, but a 16. Okay. That's pretty good. I am the least can, perceptive. Yeah, you picked up on like the initial sound. Oh, this is going to be great. <laughs> yeah, that seems about right. Uh, Milo, mm -hmm. actually, literally all of you see this because I rolled so bad. You see currently moving a large snail, like a huge snail the size of a horse, kind of rolling through town. And you see it actually kind of like picking through bones that have been left on the ground. And you see its shell is not a shell at all, but a pile of of bones oh! <laughs> that is currently like bumping together what? which is producing that sound as the snail is just kind of and then like picking up and kind of moving around bones and then dropping them and then going to another pile and kind of feeling through and then like taking them and like kind of it moving in a weird way and adding the bone to its back that's a big fuck no out of me this you is also we... notice, Milo, uh -huh. that there is a like skeletal hand kind of sticking out, and looped on it is a satchel currently hanging on its back. Do I recognize the satchel? No, but it looks like it's got stuff in it. A goodies. <laughs> hmm. This is the worst this, kind this of pinata. This is also time out. We could probably do this. This is also the town where we, we made our contacts, correct, gang? Yeah, is, this yeah. is where the Grey Shroud was stationed. Do we want to go check to see if they're there? Possibly take this thing down. Because I, I see it's got something over there. It's got, like, a bag of something that might be of benefit. But what is it? We would have I, no effing clue what this thing oh, is. Oh, not regardless. a clue at all. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Notably, yeah. The, the slug part is, like, kind of, like... <sighs> 
like decayed brown is the best way to describe mm. it with like the, the stomach being kind of slightly umbery red it is very dour looking creature for the most part you see it currently picking through bones in the mi middle of the town currently and kind of making its way over to like the corpse of a horse and like picking up the rib bone I the entire rib cage and adding it to its I, back. I, I, I would assume that if we let this thing grow, it's going to be even a bigger threat. That's the other thing, too. So I want to assume that this thing's moving really slow, too. Like, it is a... Uh, it seems to be. It doesn't seem to be urgent, though, so... Gotcha. How about... Uh, we could... I mean, we need... If if we have friends in this town, and I, I like to think of them as our friends... Sorry, Othel. Uh, They're not. We, we... Okay, well, regardless, I think we should help either way... If there are people that are still here, but maybe we, don't we should even go find know them. if this thing is a threat. He's going to slump over, look at you with a cocked eye, and just gesture one hand to the bones. I mean, snails and crabs make homes out of all kinds of things. No, out of bones, and it's already looking sick and decayed. Look, if nothing else, let's just go check in on the shroud. Make sure they're all right. You know how to find them? I would assume just building. I just assume go back to the you building. Remember the building, we yeah. We went through the back. We saw a back room too, so we could probably just sneak in through the back. I'd rather not sneak because they remake it crossbowed. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Tripwire. <laughs> you are gonna have to sneak to get past whatever the hell this thing is. Oh, so. okay. snail o. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, it is either, right in the road. This either thing. we're gonna sneak past Snello or we're gonna fight. Either which way, we got something to do here. All right, I well, vote for sneak. Yeah, we don't sneak, Mark. Two of us have disadvantage. Uh, it's a I group get check. That. We can we, we can attempt, but I have a very big feeling of where this is gonna fucking go. Should we? Okay, eleven. All right, here we go then. Uh, Monty, can I guidance? I'll allow it, yeah. Thank you! Group cell check, everybody. Good! <laughs> Three! Four. Plus yeah, one! Self, dude! <laughs> Good! Four! <laughs> Kai, Otho? Uh, a 19. 15. Nice. <laughs> that is... Three successes and two failures, you guys succeed. Oh. As you make your way past this, this thing is huge, by the way. Like, it is a massive slug. You kind of skirt between the buildings and kind of, like, run off. At one point, Milo, your foot kind of catches a barrel and it kind of moves over. But the creature is currently, like, affixing what appears to be a horse skull to its back and doesn't seem to care at all. Gross. And so you kind of slip through and eventually find yourself in the back door of the Grey Shroud's home question mark yeah uh, let's knock mm -hmm. yeah you, big you, knocks knock no answer oh i look through the Is... window you look through the window you don't see anybody inside i checked to not see if the door's locked you open up the door it is not locked oh good as you look inside all of the food all of the other items that were here are gone and there is no one here Mm. Well, either they left or um, they got ransacked. I imagine they would have left. All right, so here's the thing. We just got done talking about how we didn't have a lot of money. We don't have a lot of resources. If we go back, there was, a, there was that bug. There was something in it. We could fight that thing. We could rid its horrifying existence and get rewarded for it, but... You said one word I liked. I could try to s take the bag from it without it noticing. Uh, Otho, actually, on throughout way here, did you find any vantage points, places where we could get on a roof or find cover? Mm. Not really. Um, don't necessarily think that this place would be the best for something like that. Mm. Sorry about my stomach. I'm so sorry. I don't know. You're what's okay. So much we don't hear it. it. It's, it's yeah, scale. Oh, thank God. It is like, yeah, on my stomach, he's going, oh, and it's like, stop. I, I ate. Calm down. It's the, right. it's the snail. I would also I, say, based on your guys' general knowledge, that you would not trust being on the roofs here because mm. you don't know how long oh, it's decrepit. Been, yeah, it's yeah. it's a little sketch. 
I, I sure do love taking falling damage between two stories of fucking housing. That sounds like a good idea. <laughs> um, Miles, Kai, gonna... oh. what do you think about all this? I was about to say. <laughs> Well, for one, I don't think we should send Otho to go steal anything. And number two, we already made it past that thing, so let's just keep going. Yeah, I I think we're doing okay for ourselves, honestly. And I'm, I don't know. I feel like since we left, we've done a lot of fighting. And this seems like one we can avoid. Well, we could get something out of it that's all i'm saying there's nothing in there that's worth fighting whatever that thing is you don't know that kai is there something in that book that could help us i can look is there anything useful in the book monty uh which one the spell book or the I, either the one of them book. the druidic book or the spell book roll an intelligence check i will guidance <laughs> him if Please. i can 16 d4 as you, this is, does guidance allow for um, skill? This I, is not a skill check. Checks. I will click the spell. Just double checking here. Uh, ability check. Ability, ability check. Okay. Skills. I'll allow it. I'll, yeah. I, uh, I'm going to say for this, I'm going to say for this, no. Okay. Um, Kai, as you flip through the book, there is one cantrip that catches your eye. It's, it's where you can create an invisible hand. Yeah that can move and manipulate objects. I mean, uh, according to this book, there's like a magical hand that you could use to maybe pick the thing off of its back, but it doesn't say anything about what that thing is if that's what you're curious about. No, no, no. I was just thinking if we could get that bag off of it. Look, I'm in favor of putting that thing out of its own misery and possibly saving what well, people there may be here, but if nothing else, if we could get what it's carrying. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just like snap cut to the fucking snail like putting shells. It goes, I love being alive. <laughs> just like, <laughs> like, look at like, all these bones. It, it, it's great. It's, it's like, like it, it, picks up, it. it picks up two skulls and weighs them in its fucking like little pseudopods like a fucking grapefruit. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, please continue. I'm sorry. Kai, you might be able to use that spell to snag it off. We wouldn't have to fight it. We could still get those rewards. We just got done talking about how poor we are and we did an investigation to get money, which that wasn't very much, by the way. I'm just going to say. Yeah, but there's also a giant skeletal snail thing in the middle of town. And if I screw this up, it becomes our problem. Kai, I want to remind you that you defeated that druid, remember? And all those wolves? Yeah, but we had a reason to be there. You know, we can't spend anything we might gain from that purse if we're dead. Also, that's assuming I can even get this spell to work. I believe in you, Kai. You've already proved yourself to be incredibly useful. You casted that other spell as good as I could if I knew it. I believe in you as well, little brother, but if you're not confident, let's put it to a vote. I say we keep going. I'm with Kai. I say we either put it down or at least try to get the bag. One, four, one against. Two, two, two against, one, four. Two against, one, four. All right. Anyone else? Uh, Otho, put it in your way first. Personally, I don't think we need to take any unnecessary risks. Oh, I'm the tiebreaker. Fuck. No. No. I don't think you are. That's, that's, that's three. No, that's three. That's three. We're good. Okay, okay, okay. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. We're fine. You guys okay, want to keep going. All We're right. Keep going. Okay. Still have to yeah. sleep. You still have to sleep. Do you guys want to see him pulmonata to sleep? Have... Oh. Well, we I will can... say with this. The, snail? The, the, the smuggler's hideout is a secure location. It is a I was going to say. Yeah, so, we could stay the night in the smuggler's hideout. It's sure. considered a safe structure, so you guys are safe for the night. So just write off your rations. By the way, um, if, if one of us observes the snail, does it, like, seem aggressive at all? Or 
Uh, roll an insight on the snail. Okay. I will I roll an insight on the snail. Let's I will do this. 18. <laughs> uh, it seems... Six. First of all, you're able to determine that it is very slow. Um, and at one oh point, God. you do notice it can actually climb on walls. And it oh. goes up... And it goes up onto one of the roofs, and the roof collapses, and it, like, disappears. <laughs> and you hear it make, like, a <laughs> screech as it falls down, but then eventually makes its way back outside and keeps going. And We're as you guys bed down for the night, it eventually makes its way northward and disappears. But we have to go that way. <laughs> yeah. Have fun, kids! <laughs> well, you guys can go this way. It's going that way. Uh, well, we, ha but, uh, we have to go that way because we're going to Runnel. Well, you're, you can We're hit going that diagonal. tile that tile. This one's going oh, this see. tile, this tile. Yeah, so you guys I can okay. entirely. Oh, it's going to be our problem when we get to Runnel. I fucking know it. All right. <laughs> Just crashes through the roof. Hi, Bill. As you guys awaken the next day. <laughs> okay, one more night of travel right off another ration. As that day, you can kind of Shit. hear the river. Nothing occurs. You guys do your watches. Down to 10. And Man, as you nine. make your way with your last day into Runnel, that's where we're going to take our break. Cool. Hooray. Alrighty. I uh, won an adventure. Real, Yo, real do, quick. dude, similar, but fuck. Uh, Monty, I sent quick, you a message. Because, I know. Uh, I'm ignoring Connor. it intentionally because I don't have an answer for you. I'm going to get tea. Connor. Uh, I'll be right back. It, it is a very important. All right. You said, cool. you said you're at 10 rations? Yes. Because I had nine. So I just want to make sure. Okay, uh, I might have missed a night of rations. I'll ask the others when uh, they I return. Am, I'm, at, I'm at 10. Okay, I may have taken one too many. Cool. All right. Welcome to the Bosco Halftime Show, guys. Woo! You know, I just want to say, too. we did our best. We went out there. Uh, they had us for a moment. Thought they were going to make us uh, fight that snail. Uh, but we were able to <laughs> circumvent their plan and uh, do what we do best. Now, when uh, when you guys had to make that stealth check, what what was going through your mind on that particular play? Uh, we really want to make sure that uh, nothing saw us. Um, mm -hmm. But uh, it looks like it looks like it did. But then we we had another stealth check later. Nothing saw us that time. So you know, it, it sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, and it, it really worked for us uh, the the back time. And now that you've kind of gotten over that hump, do you think in the, the, the second half of the game here, you guys are going to be able to make it all the way back to the, the crazy Lynn lady? Uh, yeah, I, I think we, you know, we've done most of the work already. Uh, we really just have to make it through uh, this last town. Uh, hopefully we don't have to make any more stealth checks. All right, well, best of luck out in the second half. That was Mark Allen Jr., the uh, player for East Ken. Thank you so much. We've got bits and subs coming in like crazy. Crit Scratch, thank you so much for the tier one sub. We've got Hound of Twitch with 100 bits. Uh, I soon am going to be my first campaign, and I thank you guys for get me into the game. Uh, lovely Lorelei, thank you for the 250 bits. You'd think that necromancers would be buffer. All they do is deadlift. Ha! <sighs> there are two kinds uh, of people. <laughs> CD Regulus, thank you for the 100 bits. Darn it, Kai. Now my curiosity of what's in the bag will never be sated. Thank you, cowards. I guess, Look, why are you trying to send me and my brother out to get killed? What the fuck? We you all just got done bitching about how much money you don't have, no, and now there's money You're, right there. No, we, didn't. we did not, we didn't bitch. We were just like, man, books are expensive, and we moved on. <laughs> and even if we got that pouch, we're not buying a fucking book. Not in this country, we're not. No. I don't know if they're going to hit you for a while. Look, Jesus. I just want to have, I want to have adventure and fun and fight and such yeah. unnecessary I, combat I want those things too i just also don't want to die it, likewise before we make thank it you to the i'm next just glad level. that okay. i'm glad that you, you gonna... i'm glad that you understand mark oh. guys i love you but please no eating in the microphone sorry wow she came back in the room uh burn out with 100 bits of bosco the fans want to know now that kai has been moved to the party caster, what spells are he looking to add to the team's offense? Well, you know, yeah, I'll tell you this I right now. Uh, the only party caster. Crazy. Uh, I'll tell you this right now. Uh, it, I can neither confirm nor deny those allegations. 
Uh, Blackfoot Farrah, thank you for the leap bits. Welcome to Snail Game. Uh, Xena Lada, thank you for the 100 bits. Next Tuesday, the game where you play as the dead to fight the living is going to be Demo Hoss Sonata. Level 1 Eevee with 100 bits. I like the part where you guys went fishing. Damn it, Eevee. <laughs> uh, zombie Monster, thank you for the 100 butts, uh, bits. Uh, hello, everyone. Almost what? done with work, and I'm enjoying the session today. Don't kill Baby Snail. We did not. Cowards. We ran away. Uh, Volk says 100 bits. All wizards in D&D &D in the end, uh, in the end up looking like Merlin getting back from Bermuda. Fight me. <laughs> uh, do you guys do you guys want to see a picture of what you just went by? Yes. You had a I can't share it with chat. I, I don't have a picture I can show on Roll20, unfortunately, but I do have. Oh, you have like official art from the books. Yeah, I, I'm going to put be, it in general for you guys. I want to be further disappointed. Yep, see, oh, I'm further boy. disappointed. Motherfucking snail. Motherfucking oh, bird plane. Y'all just couldn't beat up an undead snail to steal its lunch money, I see. You really wanted to fight that thing? I sure did. Why I actually have you, a mini of this. Why are you so, so gung-ho about killing everything? Because it's yes. undead, one. It has <laughs> shit, two. It's threatening the land, three. The, theoretically, the if land. we save the land, it'll go back to whatever Listen, universe. Listen, you don't know he's, that. He's just building his own funny little house, and nature yeah. is healing. Yeah. No! It's <laughs> not! <laughs> I am trying so hard to not just break character and be like, I want to fucking fight that thing. I want adventure. I want to <laughs> fun. I want a reward. I want to feel like I'm playing an RPG. God damn it. Well, yes, you are. <laughs> that RPG that RPG is Elden Ring, and you, of all people, should know you can't just fight everything you see. Yeah, you right can. Away. You just beat your head against the wall a couple times. You'll eventually Yeah, but it. we're it'll, not tarnished. We revive. <laughs> We don't get to just poof back into existence when the snail ends That snail is going to show you just life. how maidenless you really are. Oh, God, I am so terrified of its probably 10-foot movement at best. Some we can don't walk need to and outrun to kill it. You guys in. Oh, trust me, I know. I fought a fucking death snail before, but what hey, it, it wasn't hard. Hey, hey, remember when you yelled at me for fighting a snail before and it nearly killed me? Yeah, Guy because you Goomba? fought it in a fucking box, Connor. I'm not having it, mister. <laughs> <laughs> We're fighting in an open area that we can outrun, not a no, box where it's going to no, shit clowns. I'm not having this. You will not fucking blame me for not fighting a snail. It's one or the other, guy, Jin It's a different fucking snail, Connor. No, it's You're not. not. <laughs> Bro, I just came back with eggs because I had to make like quick five minute dinner so I don't eat super late. What the fuck just happened? <laughs> I'm dying. That's what Yo, I just want to find out. Chat, this you, might you not just, be a good time. Oh, go ahead. You, you, everyone in chat just listened to two grown men argue about snails on stream. <laughs> this, this is the fucking fight that 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 Nathan Explosion and Pickles have in one of the episodes of Metalocalypse. <laughs> oh god, my. Uh, are we all back, by the way? <laughs> Uh, yes. Oh, that was fun. This is a good time to remind everyone that I made a playable snail race. It True. is, yeah. Fantastic. Uh, uh, so, Connor, I love you, buddy. Love you too, dude. Can you guys hear me? <laughs> yeah. Hypocrite that you are. Okay. Sorry, I had, a, I had an internet dropout, apparently. <laughs> oh, weird. Oh, jeez. Oh, shit. That's that what happened, happened to me today. Yeah, that happened to me earlier, Mark, for just a brief second. All righty. Is everybody back? Boss, uh, are you back? Yeah. You're not Bosco. Mm -hmm. I, I was answering the original question. Ah, oh, okay. Connor's here, Zito's here, Mark's here. All right, let's keep going. <sighs> uh, Money, quick question. Yeah. Any particular reason there's fog of war to the north? We didn't mm -hmm. go there. You never went there. Oh, oh, oh we, we started in Runnel. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My brain is dumb. Yeah. Sorry, 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 sorry. You've reached Runnel. We've done guys... so much traveling. <laughs> I know. You've done quite a few days of traveling, to be honest. Yeah. Um, but you guys walk into the familiar foreboding site of Runnel Village. The the streamers from the festival still hanging in the air, completely devoid of color now, flapping in the non-existent breeze. There's our there's our real life in. corpses hanging up at the top. We're the streamers. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh god, we were ghosts the whole time. No. 
as you guys make your way into the town, what do you do? Uh, look for the building Find that Lynn. Lynn is in. Yeah, straight for Lynn. As you make your way back to where you had awoken initially after the incident is what we're going to call it, you do smell. The first thing you do is you smell incense, specifically. And there's sort of like a quiet, and you don't see anybody inside of the building. You hear a voice go, Who's there? Uh, it's just us, Lynn. You watch as the eye kind of creeps over, and you can now see that kind of glowing eye. Once again, I'll show you the artwork. Yay! Oh, so good. Incredibly well done by Caitlin C37. Yep. Heck yeah. The glowing eye kind of piercing through the broken window, and she kind of goes, You're back. Excellent. Come inside. Okay. The door opens up. As you guys make your way inside, the building is, like, unchanged. There's just, like, some supplies, but it's all the stuff that she's already had. Um, and notably, there is some scribbling on the wall, but none of it really makes sense. At first, Eastcan, your acute senses are like, oh, map, but it's not a map. It, it does <laughs> appear to have the sort of, like, qualities of a map, but without the the um, clarity of a map, if that makes sense. Like, it's more of, like, a diagram of some kind. Okay. Um... For a second, Kai, just based off of your book, you maybe it's a magical thing, but it doesn't seem like that either. You're all alive. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, we had oh, a this. few close calls, but we almost became trees. It wasn't that close. Speak for yourself. I did. I took that undead bear's claw right to the face. Do you have it? Uh, I do, Lynn. Here. Um, I'm just gonna hold open the bag. Not touch it. She, she reaches <clears throat> in and she touches it and she picks it up. She holds it in her hand and she kind of looks at it and she goes, Vile thing. A pearl of Necrecta now. Oh, uh, by the way, when we came back in, uh, there was some kind of force from the fog trying to take it away from me. Of course it was trying. This... Like I mentioned, it's an anchor point for Necrecta. It's how she now has her hole on the mortal realm. We convert this back to a bead of Hoketh, and we sever that connection. It will be a dent, but perhaps enough to save Eastonvale. That being said... What? Hmm? Go on. What is to stop these forces from... Reclaiming the bead. She kind of looks at you dead serious. And like with the most conviction you've ever seen out of anybody in your life, Otho. Us. Ooh. I see. But as she kind of looks into the orb. What comes next is no easy task and I will need your help once more. Whatever we need to do. Ice is a little fucking hesitant about that bit, but sure. To convert this orb back to its proper form requires a lengthy, well, lengthy. She kind of does quotation mark with her other fingers. It takes a period of time. And in that time, Necrecta will no doubt retaliate. She will not bring all she has to bear. If anything, she'll treat us like swatting at flies. That being said, this ritual is a very delicate one, to which I must keep my entire focus and concentration, which means I will need your protection. Uh, exactly how much time are we talking? <clears throat> I do not know. And you mean to do this here? There is a building in this town where it must be done. And she kind of points to the diagram she has on the wall. I've calculated it into a house not too far from here, in the same village. <sighs> Luckily, it puts me inside of a building, meaning I can be covered. That being said, if any of you have the spell, Tiny Hut, or a similar sort of spell, that will not allow me to complete the ritual. Additionally, if I move, either willingly or by force, it will also cancel out the ritual. And if I'm unlucky enough to be either 
set unconscious or struck in and lose my concentration, it will also cancel out the ritual. Monty, pulling out the map that I previously had of Runnel and kind mm -hmm. of comparing it to the diagram that she made, um, the building that she figured, is there anything of note about it? Given no, that I spent a pretty decent amount of time mapping out the city. It is just a building. It is a just a re regular like house that someone lived in. So it's very un, un Is it like right in the middle of the town or is it It is slightly like probably west, like northwest of the town, but like still kind of in the town. Mm -hmm. There's not a lot of town like buildings here, but it's it's surrounded by other buildings, but not closely. This is a pretty spread out village for the most part, or hamlet rather. Okay. Also, Connor, you are making noises in your mic again. I'm sorry. Yeah. You have your faculties. Are you all at your best, for lack of a better term? Do we have time for, to prepare? You do, but be warned. Whatever comes is empowered. You may find that things that usually will work will not. I don't know Come. how much experience we have for anything to be usual at this point. Come, let us make our way to the site. Oh, uh, oh, uh oh, we just lost Bosco. Uh oh. I, I actually blinked out for a hot second at the beginning of this, so it might just be Discord throwing a fit. Yeah. yeah. Discord's been having problems for a couple of days. <clears throat> Discord oh. big crash like last night around like two. Yeah. It did, yeah. Cloud flare, baby. So let's set up for wave one, gents. <laughs> I will actually take you guys to the map. Cool. Where, where I where I joined uh, Alfred Paperbox House on his uh on his Twitter. Oh yeah, feed. I saw that. Discord on four 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 four. <laughs> uh, that's what I want. Just 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 to kill time until Bosco gets back. Lynn. Yes. Have you seen a large snail roaming around the towns? Bone whelks, you mean? Bone whelk. Oh, so I have a name. I do. Uh, what are they capable of? <sighs> they collect bones. It's no surprise that they've made their way here somehow. Um pretty harmless for the most part. You just don't want to go near them. You want to be uh, careful if you go to kill them as well. They let out a shriek when they die that I've heard can kill men. Where, <laughs> all of us look at Milo. All of us look at Milo. Yeah, when first she said they were pretty harmless, one of Iskin's eyes sort of side-eyed Milo. <laughs> but once she said when you kill them, they shriek, he's just full-on looking at you. <laughs> you know, there's going to have to be some point or we have a bit of bravery. They're not undead, but they're not natural either. Just keep a wide breath of them for now. Uh, we actually saw one in Pomnada not too long ago. <laughs> That's ironic. What? So Pomnada was well known for its river snails, specifically in their cuisine. A oh. bit of dark irony, I suppose. Well, dark if you let it be, I suppose. Is it aggressive? Does it kill? I've never seen one kill unless it's been attacked, no. Hmm. All right. Um, hmm. Besides the shrieking, does it do anything else? I, she kind of just shrugs. She goes, I'm not exactly an expert on bone whelk, so... I don't know. All right. I was just, I've seen some of the smugglers that come through here kill one and then immediately drop dead after they made a, they made a horrible noise. <laughs> oh, okay. In other words, we should avoid them. Generally, yes. Unless you have some reason to not. Hmm. There's one we saw had a little, curiosity, that's all. There, there, there's a little bit of, I guess, 
told you so energy to it, but <laughs> Iskan, without saying anything, is kind of taking out and arranging his maps to sort of re-roll them and make sure everything's tight and and tidy so that he doesn't drop anything. But you can tell that there's a there's a little bit of sort of like a I don't I don't know another a better word to say it, but like there's a little bit of a told you so attitude to it. I mean he's just ignoring it. Milo's just ignoring it. I'm gonna take you guys over to the house. Okay. So assumedly yeah, yeah, as yeah. you're having this conversation you've been walking. Yeah. <laughs> just arguing about snails the whole way. <laughs> <laughs> Why does this house have so many doors and windows? It's a house. Calculated to be wow. this exact spot. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ah, wonderful. Perfectly indefensible. So. That's tower defense for, time. This is where I give you your hints, just mm -hmm. to help you out, because I don't oh. want to leave you hanging dry. Um, unfortunately, Bosco's still not here, and I feel like Bosco should know this stuff before we start. Uh, apparently his modem is, is resetting, and he's trying to get back on. Okay. Oh, he's, he's typing. typing. Alright. <clears throat> oh, oh, no. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's all good. We might have to go a little bit later just hey. to make up for it, but, you know. That's fine. That's fine. fine. It's, it's a good thing I snuck in making eggs in, like, three minutes. <laughs> oh, it's in the patch notes. My Unexpectables patch notes has it. Nah. Right. <laughs> the patch notes. Patch notes? I, gotta, I gotta upload these to Steam 5. five. What yeah, version we basically... are we on? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, and this is probably 1.5. All right. <laughs> uh, so I think it's pretty obvious what you need to do here. Guard the doors and windows. Guard Lynn, specifically. Yes. Uh, it's the seventh day. <laughs> Dawn of the seventh day. So well, I'm negative gonna, 72 hours raining. <laughs> I'm going to note that uh, this is important. This is just mostly to cover my back. Mm. I Everything has been pre-planned, so nothing is done to fuck with you, if that makes sense. Like, mm -hmm. um... And you're going to figure the rest of this out. So I'm going to be very, very brief. But as you guys are preparing, Linda's turn to you, Milo, and goes, You're one of the cloth, yes? Uh, yes, I am. If you have it within your capacity to turn undead, don't even bother. Oh, uh, I can't do that yet, but um, good, good to know. Nothing you can do will make them turn back from their course. That includes that being frightened as well. And that's for this particular event, or is this all the undead in Eason Vale? Not all the undead in Eason Vale. She kind of looks towards all you guys. What you are going to be fighting is Necrecta's retaliation. I don't actually know what that means. What hey. can we expect? He's back. Hey, buddy. Expect a fight. And expect soldiers that don't turn back. Whatever form they take. So yes, to be completely transparent, turn undead does not work in this scenario. Cool, I don't have it. <clears throat> okay. All right. Because Necrecta is hearing... literally like, fuck this one spot in particular, so... <laughs> yeah. Um, I have one technical question, Monty, just real quick. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, no, don't cast it, you dimwit. Ugh. There we go. Um, Sacred Flame does not uh, take into account um, words uh, cover. S uh, it just says a, a target that I can yep. see. So could I technically be in this house, look out a window, see something, and then cast the spell upon it? You can, yeah. Okay, I just want to clarify that. That's my only question. If it, if it doesn't have like an attack spell bonus and it doesn't say you have to like point or something, like it has to have the wording for it, and if not, you're right. good. Okay. All right. So, any preparations, any spells you want to cast before we get started? Again, now here's the thing. If you're going to cast a spell that lasts a minute, you're going to want to wait till last to do that. Because if you're like, oh, I want to take 10 minutes to do X after someone's like, I cast Bless on everybody, right. then you're going to lose the Bless. So, Can we get some Sun Toast? Uh, Monty, will you allow that? 
Yeah, absolutely. If you you have the bread for it, you got it. Yeah. Um. I hate to say it, but I would give it to myself and Gaius. Um. Don't hate I to don't... say it. It's good okay. that it goes to somebody. Okay. Okay. No, that's fair. Um. Because. Yeah. Um. I'm sorry, guys. I don't have bless. Uh. Anybody else have anything they want to prepare? I just have to hit things in order to do things. Also, place yourselves where you want to be placed. Because uh, on the map... Does, does Lynn have a general direction of where she believes our opposition is going to come in from? Not a clue. It is random. Fucking awesome. I She is am... going to stay right there. That is where she needs to conduct a ritual. So here's the thing for me, gang. I'm actually going to stay inside because I can literally hit anything from in here. And I have spells to be basically the last defense if anything gets in for Lynn. Does this building have a roof? It does, yes. Cool. I want to jump on top of the roof. Okay, you got it. So I am here, but I am above the roof. I'll give you a wing just to indicate that you are above the roof. The roof is 20 feet tall. Cool. So. I can reach that with Mirthful. So Connor, you're making noises in your microphone again. I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry as well. <laughs> it's okay. I can't stop. Uh, am, am um, I... Am I at a door or a window right now? Uh, anything that's got like this sort of gray button on it is a window. So that is a window. This, These are open parts, but it looks like there's been some stuff put here to kind of hold back the door. Back here mm -hmm. is completely open. Uh, and then that's a window. And that's a window. Now, these windows are not in the best conditions. They are right. still like they're some of them are broken. Some of them do have full panes of glass in them, but you're wondering how strong that is going to be. Okay. So. So, what's the front door of the house then? Is it the, up at the top? Uh, the front door would be right here, and there's no door anymore. It's I see. Away. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. The door is the wagon. Yeah. It looks like you're able to discern that someone probably got holed up in here and died, because uh, there is like some bones in the corner of the room. They're just like completely like. Disarray. Oh great! Like they're All right, out of here. We, we don't need a snail coming in here. <laughs> um. It's most of it's dust. You just kind of toss it. Roof. But. I okay, so I do have something I want to do. Um, I was gonna save this for Lynn, but the more I think about it, the more it's gonna be better for us. Uh, guys, you're gonna see Milo come up to you, um, reach out and basically try to try. You know, you know the 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 arm handshake thing. Yeah, he's 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 pointing his hand out to you with his right with his right hand. Yeah, yeah. Oren's gonna look after you, guys, and then you're gonna see a flash of light go from his right hand, stream down his fingers in and into you, and you have protection from good and evil, my friend, specifically against undead. Dab. Yeah. So, okay. the protection has several benefits. Creatures of those types, undead, have disadvantage on attack rolls against the target. The target also can't be charmed, frightened, or possessed by them if the target is already charmed, blah, 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 blah. That doesn't take effect. So, right, remember you are now concentrating on that, which means you can use other concentration spells. That also includes guidance as well. Correct. All right. Otho, anything you want to do to prepare? Uh... I'm just going to pull my saber from its sheath, uh, pause for a moment, look down at my foot, slowly pull the dagger in my boot out, and wield that in my opposite hand as sort of like a parrying dagger. You got it. Oh, Kai, anything you would like to do pre to prepare? Uh, I would like to prepare an arrow. You got it. You knock an Thank arrow. Thank you for not bow. saying knock. No, the fuck I don't, Monty. <laughs> Monty. Sorry. I was just saying. What? Why is that a bad thing? I <laughs> prepare to fire an arrow. Oh, wait, I was <laughs> very specific. Have you not heard that story? No. Oh my You've God. never heard the story of the knocked arrow? That's for another They'll time. I'll tell you another later. Time. I'll tell you later. Right, That's a story right, right. for another day. Oh, off. God. All right. Alrighty, so we can't uh, win. Mm -mm. <laughs> Alright, everyone's prepared? Yeah. Yeah. As ready as I can be. Lynn Don't forget takes to move out... you to move, guys, if you want to. Yeah, move your characters forward. to where you want them to be when you start. I'm good. And Bosco, real quick, just to fill you in while you were out. Um, we should expect to fight against uh whatever Necrecta sends us. Uh turn undead won't work. Mm-hmm. They also are immune to being frightened as well. So creatures oh, yes. during this, any undead during this cannot be frightened. I'm, I'm I am pulling out the shield and the axe, so my AC is also, getting a plus two boosty. You got it. Also, Lynn mentioned that if she's put inside of like a sphere of invulnerability or like a tiny hut, the ritual will not work. She needs to be out 
in a way it's kind of part of it and also if lynn is moved either willingly or by somebody else the ritual automatically fails and if she loses her concentration the ritual fails as well and we don't know how long it will take yep it's a random amount and of time i assume we only get one shot at this you get a shot until you either all die or you succeed because uh, the cool. moment because the moment the ritual stop starts the only way the ritual stops is if lynn dies so or when uh, she's done right or when it's done when it's completed okay. yep so to make sure there's a positive chance yeah is, it like, <laughs> is, there, is there a pro to this <laughs> hmm. all righty lynn places the orb and begins to draw with chalk a sort of circle and again begins to plant incense and she kind of goes, I won't be able to talk to you once I go into this. Be ready, and good luck. And you watch as she begins to pull an incense in front of her and begins to speak in tongues. And as she begins to talk, you watch as the orb in front of her kind of begins to kind of like darken on the edges and kind of twist inwards of itself. Like it's almost like, you mentioned the Lord of the Rings eye thing. It's kind of like that. It's kind of like a swirling sort of mm -hmm. sensation for a moment. And there's almost like a, like a, retaliation of the own the, the steer itself as Lynn kind of places her hand and you notice the mist that has been encapsulating the ground now <sighs> rises up and now encapsulates the space you cannot see beyond the borders of the battlefield mm -hmm. and I need everyone to roll initiative please all right let's go uh, I'll... wow 12 19 11 6 yeah. Surprisingly above a 10. Well, Five. Nice. All right. <laughs> For once, me and, and yeah. Eugene aren't the last one. Yeah, we were all good, buddy. <laughs> all righty. So, Gaius. First, we have, is that Milo? Uh, Yeah, 12. I got the 12. Yep. Milo. Uh, E-Scan. Yes. For the sake of this, Lynn cannot take any actions during combat besides just to focus on the ritual, so she's not going to mm -hmm. be in the turn order. Just consider her turn <clears throat> order the top of the turn order for the best results. Gotcha. Oh, right. So we have Otho, and then oh, I'm we gonna, have... I'm going to fucking kick oh, up no, Mad Forest from Castlevania. We have Kai and then Otho. Not this... Song I got commissioned and it's done by Emberwick, who's a great musician, by the way. Heck yeah, yeah. yeah. which is great. L L listen, it's, Monty, thanks, I, I, I know, I understand, I understand. But I, I, th th there are times where like I pick soundtracks because I feel like it fits a certain <laughs> mood, and not not against anyone or any artist. It's just it's a me thing. I know. I do I know. that with it's, my streams too. I'm being a dick. Are you All gonna right. do a drop kick from the second story? I don't know. Should I? Elbow drop. Oh it. god. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, <Mago! yeah. laughs> Alrighty. Oh. So top of the turn you begin to see mist kind of pooling in specific areas and almost you can see a hand just like the hand that kind of embraced you as you came back into Easton Vale a hand kind of beckoning up like kind of like a come here sort of motion and you watch as bursting from the ground and pulling themselves out. And as they lift themselves out, there's almost like this vent of mist that comes with them. Forms. Four skeletons. Ah, boom, oh, boys. Oh, fuck, Skutals. Notably, wearing the <sighs> outfits of the people of Runnel. No! No! And brandishing sort of mist-like blades in their loft hands as four skeletons rise up surrounding the house. You Gaius, it is now... Blade. Gaius, it is now your turn. Uh, I guess I can see every single one of them, correct? You absolutely can from your position, yes. Uh, all right, then I'll just shout into the house. I, I will shout down to everyone. They come from all directions, and I fucking mirthful leap my ass over here. You got it. You spring and then land behind the skeleton. And as you, know you what? land, I'll, I'll, I'll elbow drop with the fucking axe. Back out! Go for it. Nice. That hits. What do you do? Nice. Guys, now witness he's broken in half. Literally broken in half as you leap down and a single swipe shatter the skeleton as it crashes to the ground. 
Oh, I but I know this thing's probably gonna stand the fuck back up. I wanna fucking make sure it's dead dead. You got it. Go ahead and roll. It's 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 down, so go ahead just with advantage. Oh, to hit again? Cool. Yeah. yeah. Uh battle axe. Weep. <laughs> with twelve. You miss because you just like it's all pieces, you just start it. whacking at the pieces. I don't trust it, but okay, <laughs> one down. At least you double tapped. It is now the enemy's turn. Dang it. Immediately, the skeleton rushes the window and shatters the window. This window is now open. Rattle them, boys! The skeleton can get only here because of the difficult terrain and makes its way inside of the cabin and be like, looks towards Lynn, who's kind of doing the ritual. This skeleton, yep, immediately rushes forward. I'm going to roll a d6. If it's an odd number, it's going for Kai. If it's an even number, it's going for you, Milo. Mm hmm. Going for you, Kai. The skeleton swings with its short sword that it has made of mist. Uh, that is going to be a 15 to hit you, Kai. Yep. Okay. You take uh, b -b 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 three points of piercing damage as it thrusts its blade into your back. That ends the enemy's turn. Eastcan, it is now your turn as you are now fully surrounded by skeletons, except for on the western side. Uh, it is? I rolled a 12. Oh, Milo's sorry, Milo. Turn. I'm so sorry. It is Milo's <laughs> turn. I apologize. Okay. Um, I'm going to look at the skeleton that is directly in front, hold out my right hand, and bring down what little sliver of light that I can... Let's go, Sacred Flame! Give me that DC uh, Dexterity 14 save. It's on this skeleton right here? Yep. All right, Dexterity saving throw. On North Bones. Oh, terrible. Uh, four, that is a failure. So it Ooh, takes two radiant. points of radiant damage as you flash it in the face. The skeleton kind of rattles back. It's like a wearing like a tattered dress and holding the weapon aloft in one hand as it kind of, its skeletal arm kind of catches itself and it... <laughs> twist itself back up. You did some damage to it, but it is definitely still standing. Uh, beans. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna have to. Um, it's gonna get an attack for opportunity because I gotta, I gotta block this other skeleton over here. You got it. Actually, uh, before you roll, can I renege that? Cause it's not gonna matter. Cause that, that skeleton up top could just move down and be in the threat space anyway. Plus I have a turn. Can I can I renege that money before you declare the roll? Yeah, I'll okay. Allow it. All right, yeah. thank you. Uh, I will stay put. Shields up. I am. You guys are there. Right Sorry. There. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I will. I will. I will protect Lin. Okay. All right. You bring up your shield as Lin is still kind of chanting. East Canada is now your turn. All right. Now I will move in to engage Skellington South. As you run towards the skeleton, the skeleton immediately twists and turns towards you, almost like a puppet on a string. Ah. <laughs> and I'm gonna whack it. Pull Go out it. Mira's staff and whack it. it. Maybe if this thing will let me there. Bong. Oh, oh god. Natural Twenty. It was the st Gaius from outside. I told you the staff. Uh, <laughs> so you two-handed it. So it's the one on the right. Yeah. So that's going so to be thirteen points of damage. damage. You smash this thing into pieces, and it clatters to the ground. I love the idea. Just <laughs> whack. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's fucking ah! head. It's <clears throat> head spins on its neck and then flies off in the distance. <laughs> and I will bonk with reverb. The rest of my movement to just move in closer to Lynn. You got it. That brings us to Kai. It is now your turn. There's a skeleton between you and Milo, and there's another one that is just shattered through a window, currently crawling its way inside. Well, he's all up in my grill, so I'm gonna dagger him. You got it. Dagger him. 12. Misses. As you go to stab, you scratch through the dress cloth. All right. And that'll be turn. You do have an offhand attack strike if you wish to with your bonus action. Gonna hurt? Uh, uh, no, he's not good enough to do offhand strikes. Fair enough. You kind of scratch and like cut through the cloth and the skeleton, <laughs> the neck kind of twists and the skull, like the empty socket eyes turn and stare towards you. Otho, it is now your turn. All right, I'm going to use a bonus action to shift. You got it. 
gain two temporary hit points. And I am going to leap over uh, Milo's head and I'm going to stand to a skid next to Kai. And I'm going to take a swing at this dude with a saber. I love being small. All right, go for it. 17. That hits. Okay. That is a total of 14 slashing damage with sneak attack. With wow. the earlier sacred fire, that's enough. As you slash into this thing and it scatters across the ground. Oh, so it just lets a little rumble come from his throat and he mutters, this used to be a nice neighborhood. <laughs> uh, and he will he will actually circle around uh, to this side and he will position himself next to Kai. Uh, you got it. Because this other one's coming in. All right, top of the turn. As Lynn continues the ritual, you hear her now speaking. We reject, we reject, and embrace the proper cycle of all things. You watch as the orb in the center begins to now glow intensely as she kind of keeps her hand in there. She's, she's struggling, like it's a physical exertion. And you can see now the mist kind of like hissing around and almost like creeping, trying to reach her, but is like being thrown back. Second round. Gaius, it is now your turn. I am very scared to walk away from this thing and then it stands the fuck back up again. Uh, but I also don't like that that thing's still alive all the way on the side there. So I'm going to dash action, move my ass over here. This is a is a window that has glass in it, so you have to take your action to shatter it to get through it, unfortunately. Okay. Uh, can I jump the wall? I mean, can I jump the house? Um... With Mirthful Leap? How high does Mirthful Leap will you get again? Uh, I get my strength plus a 1d6. Uh, Let me double check that. Yeah, double check that, because you might have to roll for this, because it's a 20-foot high roof, right? Because so it's, it's... My, it's my strength plus a set number, and then I think I get my thing. Hold on, let me double check that. Mirthful yeah. Leap. Uh, whenever you make a long or high jump, you can roll a d8 and add the number roll to the feet you can cover. And because of my strength, I get a plus four to that already. Okay, but what's your what's your what's your strength stat? It's not your modifier. It's oh, strength 18. Stat it's that 18. Okay, so roll a d8 because 18's not going to cut it because you need over 20 to jump the roof. So, okay, you have to roll above a two with your merfolk leaf to get back on the roof and run across. I will let this happen. Uh, uh, you, uh, you run and you try and jump and you're just too short, but you manage to kind of scrape your hooves and land back on the ground. Unfortunately, unable to reach the roof. I'm very sorry. All right. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. <laughs> that much. <laughs> See, now my fucking joke was is that I'm I'm now gonna have to tell it this way. What so the skeleton punching his way through the fucking wall? Uh have any of you seen the Roybo Cup of Soup animation? <laughs> Roybo Cup of Soup, and he punches the fucking window to get into the guy's bathroom. <laughs> Alright, you <laughs> shatter the window. That takes your action. That's turn, I guess. I got nothing All right. else. <laughs> It is now the enemy's turn, and the mist begins to swirl in two other places. To the southwest, another skeleton rises up. To the northeast, another skeleton rises up. And they get to move, notably. They can't move that far. Is this one that gets to here? And can't do anything. That's as far as it can go. This one, however, sees you, Gaius, okay. and immediately charges you. It's going to swing out with its mist saber. It has so disadvantage. Oh, it has disadvantage. That's right, because it's protection from good and evil. Uh, that's, that actually probably saved you from some damage, because the first roll was an 18, and the second roll with its stuff is going to be a 10. It would have meet on the 18, but yeah, with that 10, he fails. As it swings towards you, you kind of bring up your arms to brace yourself, and a glowing sunlight shield blocks as the skeleton staggers backwards, looking at this strange divine light. 
The other skeleton just like walks into the room. Hey, mate. If it's a, if it's a, if it's a, uh, if it's an odd number, it's gonna go for Kai. If it's an even number, it's gonna go for you, Otho. Uh, it's gonna go for Kai again. Moan to me. Fuck. Uh, that's gonna be another fifteen. Hit. Okay. Uh, you take six points of piercing I'm down. damage. All right. Kai is unconscious. And the skeleton immediately turns and looks towards you, Otho, with these hollow eyes. That ends the enemy's turn. That brings us to Milo. It is now your turn as you watch Kai crash onto the ground with a slash wound on his chest. Oh. It's an action to stabilize, correct? Uh, do you have a thump something to stabilize with? Do you have a healer's kit? Yes, spare the I dying do. Or a spell? If you, yes, if you use do. a spell, he can, he can come back on your turn. But... I have, no, no, no. I, I have a healer's kit. I wasn't sure if that was bonus or action. That is an action that will take okay. a full action to do that. All right. Well, <sighs> it's going to change things. Uh, I'm going to try and make my way over Kai and just bring this bone bag down to clear the space. Milo finally brings out that mace that he's just never really touched. Okay, you bring out the mace. <sighs> Six, good. As you go to swing, the skeleton kind of backs away and you just shatter more of the window. <sighs> Otho, get him down, I'll take care of Kai. Uh, that will be turn. All right, Eastcan, it is now your turn as you see the same sight behind you, and you also see now a skeleton. It hasn't broken the window yet, but it is currently making its way to do so. Uh... Uh, so, because we're in the heat of battle, um, mm -hmm. right after Milo says that, Eastcan just shouts, Don't worry about it! And I'm gonna step forward and I am going to cast Cure Wounds on Kai. You got it. Oh, oh wow, of course. Five five HP back. Better there. than nothing. Mm -hmm. Kai, your eyes <gasps> wake up and East Ken, as you place your hand on Kai's chest, you watch as a sort of greenish glow kind of emanates from your hand and kind of between your fingers, you see almost growing from Kai's chest are these like small little ethereal flowers that kind of come and go as you lift your hand back. And Kai, you are back with five HP, but you are prone because you did go unconscious. Can so I you're help currently on your back. Uh, that would take an action to get him back up because prone re requires, actually I would say probably, you know what? I'll allow it, half your movement, you can bring him back up because you only move five feet. So if you spend 15 feet, you can get him back up to his feet. Yay. Okay, I'll, right. I'll help him up on his feet. And then <sighs> lift him back uh, up. Say, come on, Kai, you got this. And I'm gonna move back here in front of Lynn. <laughs> All right, you got it. All right, Kai, you are you are you've been brought back to life and immediately kind of pulled to your feet. What do you do? Uh, hit the thing in front of me. All right, with re uh, with reanimated vigor, you swing. Go ahead. Fourteen. Fourteen. That hits. Go ahead and roll damage. Four. You immediately take your dagger and stab it into the skeleton's eyes. It knocks backwards, the back of its head kind of smashing into the edge of the window as it takes four points of damage and is reeling from the attack. All righty, Otho, it is now your turn. All right. Seeing as my brother is now back on his feet, I'm going to circle around to the opposite side of uh milo yeah and i'm gonna take a sw i'm gonna take a swing at this guy while flanking all right skeleton sandwich we got it all right go for it it's just like bone meal. sandwich <laughs> 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 would you call this bone meal fuck you uh, i said that four... joke before you <laughs> oh, <okay>. 14 <laughs> sorry i didn't hear it I'm with sorry. the flanking you hit Woo! all right that's gonna be 11 slashing damage with the sneak attack you come around as this thing is reeling from Kai's attack. You just immediately go and slice off the head of this thing. It kind of bounces on the ground. You just smash it down with your foot, and the rest of the body just crumples. Uh, I'll wordlessly turn to Milo. 
keep him safe. And then I'll go over to this window and I'll try to brace myself against it. I have to keep us all safe. That ends Otho's turn. Top of the turn order. Lynn, you can see her, like, you see now her hood buffeting back and kind of flipping off of it. You can see her full hair kind of being swirled, not by wind, but by the spell itself. As she is, her intensity is increasing. You see the runes that she's painting on the ground glowing almost in retaliation. It's like a struggle, like a fight between two very powerful forces. Gaius, it is now your turn as the skeleton is currently sizing you up at the moment. Quarter circle what? forward, rising upper with my axe. You got it. <laughs> Gamble weapon. Sure you can. You idiot, you approached me. I have meter. <laughs> God damn it. 12. You go and you smack the head off and you kind of, you're like, yes. But then the body keeps moving. You're like, oh no. Unfortunately, unable my... to do any damage. All right, well, fuck it. Just slam down on top of this thing again. You got it. 13. God. 13 meets. That hits. Ooh. Okay. Oh, nice. Nice. That, that is skeleton. That's is that ten or? That no way! Actually, you're right. That's not ten. That's a. Uh, that's a. No, oh, it's offhand. So. Six. Yeah, it's offhand. Six. All right. Six, six points of damage. There's still nothing to sneeze at. Uh huh. As you slash into this and knock out some of its ribs, but it is still fighting. It is still standing, unfortunately. All right. Well, that's turn. I'm gonna bar him from getting in here on this side. You got it. Enemy's turn. Rising from the mist. Venus. Two familiar <sighs> faces rise from the ground, like lifted from the earth, ushered in by mist. You see the two guards under Rudy's employ. Oh. Brought I, back to life with I, twisted I, visage. I healed him. I feel sad. <laughs> You really did, yeah. You did. Jeffrey and I guess Dan the best was a good as... You know. as Jeffrey. Second. Yeah. Jeffrey on one side. Dan on the other. No. Are they are they bonish or zombieish? They are zombies. You see, <gasps> they are completely. Their faces all taut inwards. Jeffrey is on the left. Sorry, I'm just noting my combat notes here. Dan is on the right. They rise up, and with them, their spears that they still have. Brains and slowly, they begin to shamble towards no, the house. Shambling. Oh, shamble man. Whoa. Oh, no. Oh, shamble man. Alrighty. <laughs> I heard what you did, Zeno. You should be ashamed. <laughs> Everyone gets one of those. Fuck off. Oh, they were sick. our friends. Yeah, but it's funny, though. Yeah, this skeleton funny. is going to shatter the window in front of you, Otho, as it just kind of smashes with its weapon, but that is his action, and it can take no others. This skeleton, though, on the outside, who's missing his head, is going to swing at you, Gaius. Disadvantage. Uh, with disadvantage, that's right. You are saving. I rolled a 17, <laughs> and then with its bonus, a 7. So yes! a 7 Praise does Lord. not hit you. Hell yeah. All right, as it swings twice, it misses you. That ends so, the I do a Street Fighter 3 parry. <laughs> nice. All right, Milo, God, it is now your Gaius turn. I go. Uh, I'm going to get in front of Kai. It doesn't matter, I'm short. Um, I can see Jerry. You cannot shoot through allies, and you cannot see through allies either, especially if they're a size category larger or the same size as you, unfortunately. Okay, well then I'm gonna just go outside then. Okay. Also, I'm small. I thought that there was a... Uh, I, I had the ability so to move if through. You do. You, anyone can move through allies, and you can move through large creatures' spaces. You cannot move through oh, medium creatures' I'm spaces. Not, I'm not trying to shoot. I'm just trying to be able to physically see it. Unfortunately, because Otho and the skeleton are the same size, Otho okay. completely blocks the skeleton. So, uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, would I be able to see from there? Uh, you would, yeah. From okay. around the corner of the house, you absolutely can. I will move, move 10 feet. All right. 
All right. Bring out the glove. Bring down the sun. Here it comes. <laughs> EC14 on Zombie Lad. Nice. Jeffrey. Okay. Yeah, Jeffrey. Yeah. Uh, awful, awful roll three. It takes eight Jeff radiant damage. Jeffrey takes eight radiant damage and kind of staggers for a moment and then reconstitutes himself with the spear and immediately looks towards you with hollowed out eyes and the neck kind of cricking to the side. All right, Jeffrey, think you catch me? Come on. And I, I run back in. <laughs> All right. We know they're slow. It doesn't matter. So <laughs> get me, bitch pretty much i will say this they seem slow when they come in but afterwards they seem to retain their normal speed ah okay that is an observation you have so since it's happened just for clarification when regular enemies spawn in during a necrectus retaliation they're it's considered a dismounting for them in a way oh. so their, their movements have mm. but once that turns Wait. over then they get their they full speed back more. so yeah dismounting from what Ghost horses? Oh god. Guys! <laughs> uh, I knew it! Here, Mon <laughs> Monty, I'm gonna do you wanna do you wanna get rid is that skull and get ridable? Get rid of I'll delete them, yeah. Okay, because I want nah. I wanna be right here to block the entryway here. You got it. Okay. Alrighty. That brings us around to East Canada. It is now your turn. Uh, do I have visual of Dan or is the cart too high? Like this. He like has half cover, cover with the cart. Half cover, okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to ready action bonk if he gets close. You got it. Two-handed with your quarter staff? Yeah, because I, I wouldn't it. get an attack of opportunity because he's not going to leave my square, but I will ready an attack if he comes. Through. If he gets in. You got it. All right. Held action for e scan. Kai, it is now your turn. Uh, Kai is going to rush past Milo to get out here. I'm gonna go here. Okay. Um, I can see Jeffrey from here, right? You sure can. Um, oh boy. Kai is gonna pull out his bow. He is gonna prepare an arrow to fire. And then when he sees Jeffrey, I'm gonna take the ready action for the attack to go off after Otho's uh, turn. Okay, so you're holding an action after Otho's Yeah, uh, <laughs> it looks like Kai doesn't wanna shoot. Sorry, are you holding your action to shoot? I'm holding my action to shoot, but I'm going to do it after Otho's turn. You got it. All right. Otho, it is now your turn, as there's currently a skeleton in front of you and shatter glass all over the floor. Uh, with with uh, shaky hands, Otho will try and uh, slice and dice at this thing best he can. You got it. Go for it. You should use your Omni tool. You can pull him up over cover and slam him to the gotcha. ground and then stab him in the head. He makes the G mod Indeed. ragdoll noise. <laughs> My Swiss army sword. I'll use it to unlock his death. <laughs> uh, te oh, that's still a 14. That hits. All right. Uh, no sneak no attack, so that'll just be nine slashing damage. Nine slashing damage, not bad. As you strike into him, kind of rattle some of the bones and like they kind of stagger back for a moment and then <laughs> kind of reposition themselves but they are they have a, just missing the front ribs entirely from that slash and i'm just gonna try and drive the dagger into the center of the skeleton's forehead with a offhand attack you got it go for it come on buddy that is a 24 Ooh. to hit yeah, yeah dude. Dude. It's juicy uh, uh for oh god that is five piercing four. damage or wait no. Uh, one D plus three is Why two, is it rolling two a piercing D8? damage. Why is it rolling a D8? It's not what rolling a D8. This, no, no, no. It's, there's, it's, so it's, it's, there's it's rolling for sneak attack. At bottom. Yeah. It's, oh, it's rolling so for sneak D4. attack. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah it's, it's that's, two that's damage. two piercing damage. Two piercing. Okay. Oh, I, oh my God. I have no brain. I'm so sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two piercing. You got it. You stab into this thing's like head. Unfortunately, it's still standing. It is holding <gasps> on with fervor as it's like looking past you and seeing what Lin is doing currently and is kind of reaching for that. In that case, flavor wise, I'm just hanging on and trying to push him back with my forearm and that's my turn. Get All right. Here. With that, Kai, your held action goes off as Otho's turn ends. All right, let's see what happens first. Uh, does a soft 20 hit? That hits. That hits Jeffrey. 
Kai is going to shakingly hold his bow up and he will fire the arrow and then shut his eyes as this okay. hits for eight. Eight damage, not bad. Get him, Morty. They have no souls. Strike <laughs> Jeffrey in the chest as he's still, his eyes are still kind of on that position, but then cock over towards where the house is. All right. Your held action has gone off. It is now Gaius's turn. Come on, buddy. Uh, does uh does Lynn have anything to say? Uh oh yeah, Lynn. I'm so sorry I forgot. She's not on the list, but uh Lynn seems to still be in that like fight stance at the moment. Like nothing's really changed in that way. She is fucking fighting for her life as well at okay. the moment. Well, to be rude, rude, but hard. notably yeah. of note, that coldness that you've been feeling being in Easonvale is actually like fluctuating. It's going back and forth between between being mm. kind of like normally warm. But then back to that sort of like <clears throat> chilling feeling. It's like kind of fluctuating back and forth, like kind of opening and closing like a fridge in front of you. Nice. But it's right. your turn. Okay. Well, jumping into light fierce. 15. That hits. And dirt. Six. Six. You slash into him. And you're like, come on. And he's just barely hanging on. Ah, fuck. <sighs> Hey there, everybody. This is Gaius from Streets. <laughs> that hits. 18. 12. Wait, no, uh, I'm sorry. That's wrong. Eight. Offhand, eight. So. That's an eight. Still That's still damage. enough as you're like, enough of this. And you bring your axe and just shatter it as the skeleton's bits just spray across the ground. One, and two, dirt indeed. Five, six. No and ice. I, I just jump <laughs> over here, catch this overhead. Uh, be sure to account for... Yeah, you're good, actually. I have 35, so yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're totally fine. And you swing, and you swing in front of, and you now you see it, because you didn't see it before. You see Dan. <sighs> Spirit the ready. Uh, Well, I hold my shield up, because that's about all I could do at this point. I'm I'm here for interference at this point. It is now really the enemy's bad. turn. Because you've been making Street Fighter references, and when she said Dan, my brain went to Dan yep. Hibiki. Right <laughs> Dan on, Hibiki. And I was like, no, that's not right. <laughs> Hello, I'm, I'm coming looking. in here like Sagat, and I'm gonna fucking ruin this man's day. <laughs> the zombie throws a tiny little Hadouken. You're gonna kill his dad? <laughs> Just yep. signs his head shut and throws it at you. <laughs> Sorry, Monty, we have to make references. <laughs> oh, it's totally fine. I, 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 Monty, I built Gaius based on FGC memes. It's fine, I have to do it. It's okay, I understand. Uh, Kai, Otho, and Gaius, you see now between both Dan and Jeffrey, arm first, lifting himself up from the grave, is the emaciated hollow face of Captain Rudy. Oh! And you watch as he pulls from his side, a rapier and a dagger, dual wielding both of them. He as his head kind of lulls, suddenly his neck snaps into places and his eyes kind of glow as if, as if activated. But he was nice to us. Rudy, you gotta let us finish the ritual. <laughs> I can't believe we're fighting the undead Farron Legion. <laughs> and he is not affected by the dismounting huh? effect because he's a boss. Oh, oh boy. boy. So, okay. boss creatures, when they are summoned in, do not receive the movement penalty. Oh boy. So, Rudy has to, yeah, he has to go there, which is fine. Gets here and is going to swing at you. Uh, nope, because he's going to move to avoid attacks of opportunity. So, boom, boom, like that. That is a smart undead. Yeah. He's just a smart man. He just does a little siddle. <laughs> does my held action go off? Uh, yes, your held action does go off. So as he runs and charges towards you, you're like, shit! And immediately you swing. Go ahead and roll the hit. <laughs> 18. That hits. For zero damage. You clonk him on the head, and he kind of shakes for a second, and then <gasps> swings with the rapier. It's, if I can, narratively... Uh, going to swing and at the last second suddenly recognizing who it is, my mm. heart is just not in the swing. Sorry, give me just one second here. All right, there it is. A terrible roll. Oh my lord. 
Uh, that is going to be uh, a soft 10 to hit. Who's this hitting? Uh, on East Ken. Oh, oh, that'll miss. All right, he swings the rapier and you kind of backwards, surprised at the sudden force, but he's gonna offhand dagger strike you. Uh, that is gonna hit, that's an 18. Ouch. You take, but luckily it's the offhand. Uh, two points of piercing damage as he strikes into your side of your ribs with the with the dagger. He's also notably wearing armor. Alrighty, that ends. Oh no, we got our skeleton. And? Skeleton, and we have the other lads as well. Skeleton's gonna swing at you, Otho. But you have two. You have half cover, technically. Yay. Uh, technically, so the does... skeleton should have gotten half cover as well. So I'm going to say for fair, ah. fairness's sake, it's not going to get the benefit of it because you didn't. So Fair enough. Uh, mm. Piss. Awful. Terrible. Uh, that is going to be... I don't want to add the bonus. Uh, six. <laughs> As it I, reaches I, up and scratches towards you. Parry it easily. Oh, boy. But... Yeah. Hmm. It's going for you, Milo. That's fine. Shield's at the ready. All right, shield to the ready. As you watch, as charging around the corner comes Jeffrey. As soon Jeffrey's as he takes, as soon as he takes that swing, I'm just gonna flashbang him with the warding flare. All right, warding flare goes off with your reaction. Mm-hmm. There's disadvantage, correct? Disadvantage. Good, because the first roll was an 18. Uh, second roll, I think, is still gonna hit you, unfortunately. As uh, so that is going to be a 19 to hit. With yeah. The spear. Yep, that'll hit. All right, you take three points of piercing damage to your chest from the spear. Ah! Gaius, Dan in front of you is going to swing at you. All right. With, uh, also roll a uh, concentration check, Milo, for... Ah, uh, yes. Uh, yeah. bah, 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 bah. It's constitution saving throw. Right, 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 right. to 10. Cool. I'm okay. good. Hey. Disadvantage on Dan's strike against Gaius. Uh, that's probably not gonna hit because that's a nine so once nope. again the war on you protects you from damage as that ends the enemy's turn this puts us on that one right okay all right milo it is now your turn as you see the zombified body of jeffrey looking down at you <gasps> spear ready like almost like a fisherman ready to like spear a fish he's like aiming it down towards you do i have line of sight for an attack spell or is he in the way no, you can see. He's kind of not completely covering him. Just staring this thing down with this wound in my chest, Ma, I was just going to call out, All of you! I believe in all of you! Reach down, stop being afraid, and fight! I'm going to look at... Oh, I'm so caught in the moment. Names. Uh, I'm looking over here. Rudy. 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 Bringing you up my right... Kill. Bring up my right hand, light correlates into a ball, launches forward as I cast Guiding Bolt. You got it. 14? 14 just misses. I'm so sorry. Ah! <laughs> as, my last spell slot. as you toss out the wart, like the, the Guiding Bolt, Rudy just pierces it with, your, with his rapier and it sprays across the walls, like pocking holes in the interior. Unfortunately, with, not gaining purchase. I'm so sorry, guys. That's fine. With that, Milo shouts out one last time. Dig down and fight! And I'm just going to ready myself against another attack of this thing. All righty. That brings us around to East Ken. It is now your turn as you're looking up at Captain Rudy in a zombified state. What do you do? Uh, hearing Milo's words from behind him, he's going to glance back in his direction as the light whizzed past him, and he sees it miss... And he's kind of shaken a little bit from his fear as he hears um, Lynn behind him and recognizing how dire it is that she said she cannot be interrupted at all. Mm -hmm. He finally is going to look at Rudy and say, I, I'm so sorry. And I am going to cast Thunder Wave. Okay for very uh, little damage. That is a 15-foot cone, unfortunately. <laughs> it's you are a going... cube, actually, that emanates from me. Oh, it is. So um, it'll hit be... Lynn? No, it's, uh, it emanates from me. 
So oh, it is. Funny no cube. Matter. It would be a 15 foot cube that emanates from me, like that. Uh. Uh, Just blow out the front wall. One more, actually. Uh, you know what? I'll look it up. It's, it's, yes, it should be 15 by diameter, so three by three. Uh, yeah, you are correct. Wait, yeah, it's three by on. three. It is three by three. Yep, you are correct. All right. Damn Guys, it, math. Correct. Yeah, it's I, all good. I'm I just do. double checking it. Under Again, half we have a lot damage, more spellcasters but... in this game. No offense, Connor. We only had one you as the last one, so. Yeah, at least I'm All acknowledged right. as one now. <laughs> All right, Constitution saving throw. Yes, he needs to beat a 14. Uh, that unfortunately is going to be a 16 total. Oh my god. So, uh, <laughs> nothing happens to him. He takes half damage, which is, I mean, two points three of damage. damage to him. It's always rounded um, down, so it's two points. But hey, okay. it is damage on him as you kind of raucously explode in one space. You can see Lynn just trying to keep her concentration on the ritual as it happens, like she's trying so hard to ignore everything and focus. I was desperately hoping it would push him away. Uh, <laughs> uh, seeing that it hasn't, however, and that he's still standing, uh, I'm going to use my bonus action to uh, do a Hungry Jaws. You got it. Get my chomp. Uh, oh, wow. Five. That's misses. You go to bite, and, like, immediately you see the dagger. You're like, nope, and you don't bite because you know better than to just bite into a knife. Cool. Right. Well, that did a whole lot of nothing. That's my turn. All right, Kai, it is now your turn. Oh, boy. Uh, did did Kai on the outside see Rudy come out of the ground because he had a visual? You did across? see him come out, and you did see him run, but you don't know where to where. Like you lost sight about like here. You figure he's heading towards the house, though. Kai is gonna put his bow away. He is gonna grit his teeth and pull out his dagger, and he is gonna run screaming towards Jerry. You got it, Jeff Jeffrey. Jeffrey. Come on, guys. Yeah. And he's gonna at least the honor of remembering his name. Pharaoh, I'm gonna no. him in the back of the neck. Okay. Twenty-two. That hits. Twenty-four. That oh. absolutely hits. Five damage. Five piercing. You stab into the back of his neck, and he <gasps> still alive. Turn. All right. That brings us to Otho. It is now your turn. Uh. I can't do offhands first, can I? Yeah, you can. I love it. I did. It. Oh, hooray. I'll do an offhand first. Um, I will, I will uh, just try to crank this knife into the skeleton even more, just trying to put it down once and it. for forever. Oh, please, 12? 12 misses, unfortunately. As you go to stab, you hit the skull, but it bounces off of the hard bone. Mm, fuck. Oh, boy. Um, you scan. Fuck it. I'm just going to have to try with my saber. Fifteen. That's that there hits. we go. Uh, four slashing. Four slashing. Which skeleton is that? Uh, Sorry. It should be piercing. It's right? it's a it's a saber, so it's slashing. Oh, yeah, it's slashing see. damage for a saber. It's, it's just like a re, it's a reflavored rapier. Gotcha. Gone. As you slash and cut its head off, and then slash down once, the rest of the bones tr like just collapse onto the ground, and it is dead. Clearing out the spaces now. Uh, seeing as how that is taken care of now, I'm going to run up to, uh, run up next to Iskan, and I'm going to, uh, match blades with Captain Rudy in, in, in a very similar stance to him, I'm betting. Mm -hmm. And Otho's instincts, he just lets him sort of take over from here. All right. That's my turn. Top of the turn order. This is round, I believe this is round five, correct? Yes. Four. Yeah. Five? Is it five? Yeah, it's I think five. It's five, yeah. 
You now see Lynn imbuing the orb, and you now see it changing color from that sort of darkened Icarus green now to a similar teal color to her robes now as she's kind of like still forcing her hand. And you see now all of the creatures immediately snap their necks towards where she is and now looking towards you as if I got to get you out of my way. Top of the turn order, Gaius, you are standing in front of Dan. Go ahead and, let, and roll for an attack of opportunity. You got it. With disadvantage, because you're still being yep. protected. Uh, natural one. I'm going to roll severity for that one. Oh, oh boy. Okay, roll roll a, uh, you have like a hooves attack, right? Or like a headbutt I attack? I have a ram. Do you roll a ram attack against Dan. Because he rolled a 19 forehead. severity. Hell yeah. Damn. Ram with weapons out, right? So that turns into that. That hits. Ooh, bonk. Go ahead and roll damage. Fucking bonk on the head. Five it's points fine. of damage to Dan as you kind of like, you hit his face and the head kind of snaps inwards and you immediately dash around flanking Captain Rudy. Now watch out. I'm going to press R2. Ooh. By the way, that the ram designs that count super. towards your actions, by the way. It kind of oh, does okay, that sick. Was, that's yeah. what I was worried about. I'm like, wait a minute. Uh-oh. No, you have your action and your, your bonus still. Cool. Uh, it's just because of the severe crit, so. Here I go. Th this is kind of bad. Uh, AC be damned at this point. I'm two-handing the axe. You got it. You drop the shield. 14, 16. Because I'm that flanking. That hits with 16 with the flank. 11. Oof. 11 <laughs> points of damage. Already as you strike against his back, his body retches forward. And he... Uh, and you see as you cut into his flesh, there's no blood. It's just mist. Almost like heavy mist. Almost like, um, like dry ice when you put water on dry ice and how it kind of falls to the ground. Thick. <sighs> uh, bonus action tavern brawler. You got it. <laughs> athletics, man. he has to beat a strength or an acrobatics of his choice. Mine is a natural oh, 20! Oh, 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 oh. You grapple him. Now, again, oh, grapple does not stop him from attacking. It just Oh no, I know, but it, stop, but it stops him from moving, and I also get the cute little bonus of adding a 1d4 because of my fucking uh, my yep. ability. You sure do. You kind of bring your hand around his neck, another hand around his midsection, kind of bring him backwards, like almost snapping the spine. Oh, I don't, I don't. Oh, I don't snap the spine. I use my other free hand that's grappling him from the forehead and dig my fingers into his eyes. You got it. Four bludgeoning. Nice, Max. He is still standing though. This man was very hardy in his life, and he's hardy here. All right, that, is that turn. ends your turn. It is now the enemy's turn. Let's start with Captain Rudy here. Uh, he is grappled. So I'm going to roll a d6. 1 to 2 is Eastcan. 3 to 4 will be Otho. And 5 to 6 will be you. Okay. So I'll roll that. Uh, 2. So that's going to be on Eastcan. Woo! -hoo! Rapier swing. Uh, that is incredibly good. I think that's going to hit. That's a 19 on the rapier. Yep, that hits. You take. Is that with the disadvantage? He doesn't have. He, he doesn't have this advantage. Damn it. Yeah. I, I'm uh, basically just rooting him. That's my deal yeah, at this point. Just, yeah. yeah there's no disadvantage when you're grappled. Your movement is just zero. Uh, that is going to be six points of piercing damage immediately through Ow. your chest. Scan. And he flourishes with the dagger. And I'm going to roll another d6 to determine his target. That's a three. So this is going to be against you, Otho. Uh, that is going to be. That's yeah, going to absolutely hit. Uh, that's going to be a 22 to hit you. Yeah, that'll hit. <laughs> You take two points of slashing damage to your own chest as well, as he's like flailing with his weapons and swinging towards you guys. Jeffrey, the zombie, is going. I'm gonna again roll another. I'm sorry. How much? How much damage was that? Two. Took like two points of okay. slashing damage. Okay. That'll burn through my temporary HP. Mm -hmm. uh, Dan, uh, sorry, Jeffrey Whoa. is going to again odd number Kai, even number mm -hmm. Milo. Mm -hmm. Come on. He's gonna swing at you, Milo. Cool. Warding flare goes off once again. Flash bang. Okay. Disadvantage. I, I just rolled the same thing twice. I don't think it's going to hit. Uh, that's going to be a 13. That will not hit. All right. He brings down the spear and then you flash him and then he kind of like swings wide and hits the floor. Unfortunately, Dan is going to flank. <laughs> it's going to go for you with Sandwich. disadvantage, but with a plus two. Uh, little 
don't think that's gonna matter. That's an eleven to hit you guys. Nope. You kind of kick a board on the on the um like the broken carriage in front of you, and it just kind of stabs that instead as you kind of refocus on grappling, Rudy. Fuck yeah. All right, that ends the enemy's turn. Milo, it is now your turn. Uh, the player in me wants to do a normal mace attack, but knowing how zombies can just keep coming back without radiant damage, Milo's going to reach out, bring another sunbeam back down for sacred flame. So let's see that. Uh, oh, Jesus. Let's see that. Who are you that aiming for? Uh, the, uh, Jeffrey, who was directly in front of me. Okay. This is Dexter. So. Saving throw. Man. That is a failure. Cool. It takes... And he had exactly one HP left. Excellent! Oh, yeah, dude! Hey. As Sorry, Jeffrey, Jeffrey is immediately launched into flame and starts like flailing around, Kai, you have to kind of duck out of the way, and eventually it falls to the ground and kind of crumples inwards like a spider. Yeah, fucking Nathan. Is, so <laughs> is 15, Nathan. 10. Okay, I can use my 30 movement to get in position. I am going to swing right around here. You got it. All right, that brings us around to Eastcan. It is now your turn. Uh, I am, I am in pain. Um, do, 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 do. I have a potion of healing. You do? How? In my That's, inventory. You shouldn't, because you gave them all back. You gave so. them back. I'm not sure if that was from... That was the there only is, time we ever had. Yeah, those. there is no other instance of you guys encountering healing potions, so. Would it not have been after session zero? No, you guys no. only got okay. money as a reward. So, no, yeah, I know, but we shopping. How... No, they don't I sell have... healing potions in in Runnel, so. Okay, I'll pull That's it quite out literally impossible then. for you to have a healing potion. Sorry, I just pulled it out of my inventory. Uh, okay. Well, I'm just going to thwack him. You got it. Much else I Plus can two do. to hit. Bonk with reverb. <laughs> oh. That is a nine. <laughs> Entirely and misses. it wouldn't matter if I hit, because I did zero damage. Yay. You swing wide and hit the side of the door. Unfortunately, missing as Rudy kind of is, like, struggling with Gaius. You're also trying not to hit Gaius at the same time, because yeah. they're both kind of in the same space in a way. I am not good at this. Uh, that's my turn. All righty, Kai, it is now your turn. Uh, Kai's going to move back into the house and over here. Uh, he is going to take a long look at Rudy. Uh, and his eyes are going to start to water up. And he's, again, just going to scream and charge at him. And I'm going to try to hit him with a dagger again. You got it. Plus two to hit. It's a soft 20. That hits. Go and roll Hell damage. Yeah. Seven. Okay, seven points of damage. Hell yeah, gamer. Uh, and, and Kai will scream out. Hold on. Yep. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Scream oh. out. Damn it, Rudy! That's turn. You stab into him, and for a moment he slacks, and then <gasps> agree comes back to life as his fortitude keeps him alive. That brings us to Otho. It is now your turn. Uh, so seeing as how I'm a size category larger than Milo, could I occupy his space momentarily? Uh, whose space? Sorry. Mine. Milo. Uh, no, not for the purposes of this. All like, right. in order to attack, you have to be on your own space. You can't like enter someone else's space, attack, and then move out because then cover right. wouldn't matter. So. I won't have flanking for this then. Uh, I'm just gonna swing at him with my saber. You got it. Like you do. Oh, that'll definitely hit. That's a yeah, 22. Yeah, dude. 22 hits. Go to like damage. Like you fucking do. Uh, that is 10, 10 slashing damage total with sneak attack. Okay. Oh, you slash into him and you watch as the mist coalesce and stitches up his wounds and you hear a voice going, And that is, does that end your turn, Otho? Mm, no, I'm going to stab him with my dagger as well. You got it. Oh, there's a tranny ran. That hits. Oh. Yowzers. 
Uh, that is going to be a one. Oh, one point of damage. All right. One point of damage. Yeah, he beats that very easily. You stab him again, and he's still alive, flailing and fighting. Top of the turn order. Lynn kind of looks over towards Rudy, and all of you currently surrounding the zombie that is currently still surviving. Dan is still fighting, and she kind of yells out, Let the dead know peace! And you watch as instantly a flash of radiant teal light blasts across the battlefield, and immediately Rudy dissipates into smoke and vanishes, and so does Dan. And there's a moment of stillness as you're all kind of standing there, and you hear a sound, almost like a like a like a high pitched whining noise, like as if something really like hot metal screeching. And then you watch as the orb in the center, which is now pitch black, kind of ignites, almost like a wisp in a teal color. And as you all stand there, kind of gasping, you watch as all the fog on the ground disappears and floats up into the sky almost like being sucked up into a vortex up above. And you watch as the grass goes from a petulant gray to a green. And Lynn kind of staggers to her feet and like almost stumbles onto you, Iskan. Is that it? Is it over? She kind of looks to you and she goes, it's not over. She looks, kind of looks at the orb and looks towards all of you and then looks out to the world that's now been changed. You can now see past Runnel. You can see the river and beyond. You can now see the landscape no longer hidden by this ever-prominent mist. Your vision is no longer obscured either. And she kind of looks to all of you and she goes, we've only just begun. And that's where we're going to end the session for tonight. And you guys have leveled up to level two. Yeah! Yes! Let's go. One orb down. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -da All right, bye, Austin. <laughs> bye, Austin. Bye, Austin. Bye, Austin. Good fight, you guys. You handled Woo. that incredibly well. <gasps> that ah. that ah. audio was lost at the labeled locations. Uh -oh. hmm. Hold on. Uh... What perfect timing, too. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, guys, kind of really well. I apparently had a brief hiccup somewhere around the um, somewhere around the 37 minute mark. I will. Seven. Seven. Oh. Good fight, you guys. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you guys have listened. You've lifted the perpetual fog on Easton Vale, which means you can now see the scenery, which is nice. Uh, and the foliage now has color. I assume it's still cursed as shit, but still. Oh, it's still cursed as fuck. There's no wind, and the temperature is still kind of cold. Um, mm. And there's also a giant fucking scary swirl in the sky, so that has <laughs> weird. Uh, it is <laughs> a noticeable. Funky. It is a noticeable change. Heck yeah, we did it. I will also point out this. Um, it is a noticeable change. Cool. Hooray! <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> Holy Another, shit! Another fight, spell you guys. slot. Yeehaw, bro! Bro, I'm 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 doing my level ups as we speak right now, and I just saw <laughs> what what I shoot up to in terms of HP. Man. Yeah, remember, we're taking medium. We're not rolling, so. Oh no no no! This is this is the taken. Yeah yeah yeah. It, oh, it's just right. that I have a I have a funny number on one of my <laughs> ability scores that gives yeah, me a yeah. big boost. That hoo hoo funny fighter number. Money, um, would you like would you like us to do that process with you, or are we could just do it? It's level two. I think the only person who that's significant for is probably Mark. But I, I have faith in you guys to do it. It's not like it's a lot of significant change. Okay. <laughs> I roll yeah. up next week. I've got 48 <laughs> HP. Mm -hmm. Psst, I finally get my uh, turn abilities. Yeehaw. Well, 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 now that now that Monty has uh, officially ripped the Band-Aid off on what I am, I get an action surge. Hey. 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 <laughs> <laughs> 
need to change gear. Oh my God. You guys are level two. Now I can throw bigger things at you. Yay, we can actually oh, fight things now. I'm so excited. I will say this for those of you guys who are watching. Um, this campaign will absolutely ramp up over time. Uh, that is like 100% the case. So Now where's a fucking snail with bones on its back? <laughs> All right. throw hands. We leveled up. Now we're going to go kill that snail. I finally have my cunning action. Yeah, Hooray! buddy. Ah, uh, level two. I, I appreciate you guys sticking with level one. I know it's it's very limited, but at the same time, I feel like it's a nice and necessary little progression, you know, kind sure. of being some, some schmucks for a little bit and slowly growing into your roles. Hey, well, I didn't have a problem with it. We made it past level one. That's the important part. Yeah, <laughs> we did it. I have definitely played in campaigns where I've died before reaching level two. Oh my lord! I take one additional action. I could. I just now fucking. This is now Namco x Capcom. I just got my <laughs> next fucking normal bar. <laughs> oh my lord! Oh, so what would you think, Chat? Yeah, as I, I know, there's a, there's a there's a delay. I know, but yeah. Yeah. I hope you so, enjoyed the stream. It's worth pointing out as well. Um, when it comes to the horde battle thing. All of the enemies are placed specifically before the the game starts, so that oh, way okay. there's no there's no fucking with you. It's not like oh I'm gonna put this closer because they're doing well. I'm gonna put this farther away because they're doing terribly. Mm -hmm. Everything is set, and you have to deal with it as it is. Like there's no tweaking to make life easier or harder for you guys. It's what it is, and you have to deal with it however it goes. Sure. Mm. Oh. Oh man. And that I mean, was so that was six that was like, six rounds so. Feeds. <laughs> yeah, you, got your, new... you got your Gundam like modem or whatever the hell it is. I do, but that doesn't increase my upload speed. I had 500 megabits per second upload speed before, and I have 35 oh. now. So it used to take me two minutes to upload my episode, and now it takes 10. Oh, wow. Oh, I'm mad. so sorry for you. You know what? Let's Come to this. Canada, man. Cry your river. I probably have better internet than I do. I might, actually. I'm not sure, but it's in general not great in Canada, so... Oh my goodness. That was a good session. I'm really happy with that. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. I'm I'm Whenever we finish, I'm like I want to play for another 3 hours cuz there's so much more <laughs> that uh -huh. I have planned and I I cannot wait for next session cuz oh my lord. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. <laughs> Just I'm Oh man. I get to hit you with an axe not once but twice now. You best I block this overhead. I get my first AOE. You don't, you don't get you don't get multi attack until to level five. No no no. Action surge. Action surge. Action oh, surge. action surge. I was gonna say like oh. No no. no I, 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 it's yeah, an active. Yeah. I have to actively use bar, Monty. Yeah. yeah 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 yeah. I have to pull a level one. I have to wake up. Oh my lord. And now, let the let the guessing games begin as to what circle I will choose. <laughs> Well, oh, while we're guessing, uh, let's go around the horn and de-introduce ourselves. Gaijin Goomba, where can they find you? Twitch.tv slash Gaijin Goomba every Tuesday, Saturday, Sunday, 7 p.m. Central Time. Taiko streams are real uh, on Tuesdays, probably. Um, it, it, it's it's not Taiko no Tachidin. It is actual Taiko playing, including flute playing and like real traditional music. Uh, good stuff. This weekend, it's probably going to be a build stream because someone was gracious enough to get me a couple of killer cans to put together from Warhammer 40k. Uh, other than that, I will try to find other new things to play because there's not much going on right now until Sunbreak. Which I think comes out soon. Or wait, is that July? Yeah. End of the month, no. End of the okay. month. Okay, okay. There you go. pretty soon. Yeah, that's me. Alrighty. Uh, Mark, where can they find you and what are you up to? You can find me on Twitter.com at Mark Allen Jr. Here on Twitch at Aeon Pro Tech Gaming. And follow the adventures of Bunny, my fat sleepy cat, who slept under my desk this entire session on Instagram at chonk for life Watch uh, Fruit of Evolution. Watch Shikimori's Not Just a Cutie. Watch Aharen San Wahakaranai. That's, that's, that's where you can find me right now. Hopefully streams will be back soon. Oh. TM.
That's it. Alrighty. Uh. Do, 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 do. Uh, Zito, where can they find you and what are you up to? Twitch.tv slash Zito. Indie games until Multiverses comes out, in which I get to beat the shit out of everyone with Superman and or Jake from Adventure Time. Uh, I, I, like I said, I have a bunch of indie games uh, set up, probably going to play them on Friday. But first for Friday, I have a couple of character designs I want to sell off. So if you, for some godforsaken reason, want a Sonic OC design, stop on by at 5 p.m. CST oh, tomorrow shit. on a uh, Friday. Uh, and that's when I'll be doing a live auction. Uh, beyond that, I'll be probably playing stuff like uh, Orbital Bullet or the new uh, Peglin update. Uh, beyond that, guess what? I actually do do voice acting. It's fucking crazy, I know. Shocker. I, I never fucking use my voice for anything in particular. But uh, if you want to hear me as a funny little fat space cat, please uh, check out my buddy Zarel's uh, animation It'll be coming out July 18th, which is exactly my fucking birthday. Uh, spread it around. Uh, it would be very much appreciated if you could uh, ch uh, pass it around, tell your friends, and let them know that this is happening soon. Uh, beyond that, D&D &D stuff. Uh, I put out four more little fun races uh, for everyone to check out. Stuff from uh, Dreamers of Fiction as a little preview for $5. Uh, but for July, I am not going to be writing because I'm going to take a small break for my birthday. Birth. You were born. Birth. 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 Biff Baff. Who is That's born Christmas? <laughs> All righty. Uh, Bosco, where can they find you and what are you up to? You can find me at Ed Bosco VA on both Instagram and Twitter and right here on Twitch.tv slash Edward Bosco. All right. Hey, uh, Monty, where can they find you? You can find me at Monty Glue on Twitter. You can find me at Twitch.tv forward slash Monty Glue. Uh, tomorrow will be Dungeon the Mad Mage if everyone can make it. And if not, it's going to be probably Elden Ring. Uh, and then on Sunday, I've been playing, I've started to play Majora's Mask for the first time. I've never played it before and I'm liking it a lot so far. Uh, I think my only... Downside is the camera, but that is, again, it's it's an older Zelda game, so I can completely forgive it. But the atmosphere is on point. It is very good. The music's very good, too. Um, and then beyond that, you can catch me on Twitter, where I post all sorts of things. Um, and, yeah. Alrighty. They can find me on Twitter, Twitch, and YouTube.com slash Distortion Devil. I stream Tuesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Uh, join me next Tuesday as I'm going to be playing the Dead House Sonata Tech demo, the game that I've been talking about for literally years at this point. Uh, be sure to swing by, check it out, check out my thoughts. My buddy Count Widget uh, will be stopping by as well for that. Uh, yeah. Also, I'll be making another subclass here sometime soon. As soon as I can uh, figure out which one that will be. Don't have many left before I've made one for every class. So, bada bing. Make more. Uh, indeed. Also, just uh, as another reminder, be sure to tune in tomorrow at 4 p.m. Central Standard Time uh, as the fine people over at Dice Legends will be interviewing us. Um, yeah. I think they're in uh, our it, chat right now, actually. Yeah, oh, dang. Oh, are they? They? Yeah. If it's Dice Legends with a Z instead of a D, hey, I, think, is, I think that's... Is I think that... Uh, they are. They're that, there. I see them. Oh, yeah. wow. Is that Man. Vaheen? I think they showed, they showed up at the end of the stream, unfortunately, but hello. Oh, they, were <laughs> yeah, they were in here earlier. They were in here earlier. Were they in here earlier? Okay, good. Yeah. You I heard hope. us. We're children. I'm sorry. Yeah, we were we were mentioning. It's like uh, I hope I hope you're ready for for what you've signed yeah, up I, for. I, I hope you're ready to to break out the child leashes to reel us all in because uh... <laughs> we're enthusiastic. I think is the best way to put us. We're not rowdy. We're we're very. Oh, Monty, please. Let's not. Call I I know. Me. Okay. All right. Never mind. <laughs> Disregard. All right. Yeah, uh, we'll be over there, uh, 4 p.m. Central Standard Time, uh, getting interviewed. Ooh, be sure to boy. check it out. Uh, uh, other than that, we got 
our wonderful sponsor for this evening's escapades, Die Hard Dice. Rolling for our lovely zombies tonight. Indeed. Uh, Die Hard Dice is your one-stop shop for dice and dice accessories. Uh, if you head on over to dieharddice.com, you can use the code UNEXPECTABLES! Exclamation point to save 10% on your order when you shop at dieharddice.com. And with that, we got some real awesome business. Hey. We've got... Fish and subs. It's and subs and subs and bits and... Uh, I alone heart point something. You guys didn't get a single natural one in the entire fight. Which was very nice. Which was very Thank nice for you, one. yeah. You guys were rolling very, like... Pretty good, yeah. consistent. Like you had some misses here and there, but like for the most part, you guys were hitting. Pretty, they weren't pretty critical well. failures. It was no. yeah, a couple of bare low misses. damage that was kind of stacking up a little bit, but we we hit yeah. pretty much every time, except for me. We <laughs> did it. I, I fucking people's elbowed off of the top roof. I will say this: <laughs> that that protection from good and evil was incredibly clutch. Because it's super uh, clutch. Huh? Okay, You're welcome. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I like how you were just like, oh, the 17 probably is going to hit him. I'm like, hmm. But then it's just like, oh, wait. And it's just like, oh, no. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, the 17 anyway. wouldn't have hit anyway. <laughs> mm -hmm. we'll, see you. we'll see you tomorrow, Dice Legends. Yeah. yeah. See ya. I hope they're not going Take to bed care. going, oh, God, what have you signed up for? <laughs> oh, no. These, these chuckle fucks. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no, no. All right. We've got from... Uh, we've got from Weed Pixie. Thank you for the seven months of Prime. I uh, can't stay and watch the stream because I have to wake up for dawn for work. But I just wanted to say how grateful I am for all of your hard work put on a show for us every uh, uh, for every week and weekends and making my work days bearable. Yeah, Mud Martin. Thank you for the twenty four months of or twenty six months of Prime Savage. Uh, Brick the Defenestrated, thank you for the 23 months. <laughs> Cyberman J, thank you for the two months. The Atom Bomb 35, thank you for the 10 months of Prime. As the stranger leaves the crew, uh, as the stranger leaves, the crew just hears. Here's what? Yeah, I didn't, I didn't uh, hear yeah, yeah, we gotta know. We oh, gotta fuck. know. Oh, fuck. It's nothing. Thank you for the. Uh... Wow, this is nothing. <laughs> uh, Infinite Kitty, thank you for the 25 months. Hey guys, first time oh. watching the Unexpectables. You... Sorry, I just we need we need a title. I just sorry, continue. I apologize. Oh, yeah. just, sorry. The first time watching catch, catching the Unexpectables two live. I may have missed the intro, but at least I made it for the best part of the show. The Edward Bosco halftime show. Ten thousand armored bees. Thank you for the 27 <laughs> months. Never not funny. <laughs> In Productions. Hey. I'm allergic. Except it, but except it'd be ten thousand. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, In Sydney's production, thank you for these sixteen months. Yar har. Here is some more wonderful adventures with the Unexpectables. Dalaran Quest, thank you for the 19 months. Still on episode 6, so I'll see you all on the YouTube uploads, but I just wanted to say I'm enjoying the watching the story unfold over time. Uh, I also like the more open-ended approach to the sessions thus far. Episode 6 feels it's like it's right out of a CRPG. Oh, yeah. What's wow. a CRPG? Uh, yeah, well, I was about to say... What's Canadian a... RPG. No. Uh, yeah, I mean, that is what you're getting. <laughs> it's... A... It's it's like a tactics game, basically. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, we're we're actually bringing in like cover yeah, mechanics you, and things like want, that a bit well, more. I, I meant more like in the same vein as like fire and blows. I have to fight the. Mm. Can we can we say Final Fantasy Tactics because that's a game I actually yeah no that works that, yeah, that works too. What it's based. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Crit scratch. Thank you for the twenty four months. I love that Eggman Kai is still in the art rotation. Never take it down, please. <laughs> I'm sorry, he'll have to go, but you could you could get your own fun Kai art in there if I, you want I, to. I'm like... gonna ask Alfred to like sub in for like that shot for at least like maybe a quote or something. <laughs> I love my brother Otho. Yeah, I love my brother so fucking much. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I would. Uh, Alfred's good people. I love Alfred. Mm. 
Uh, do, 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 do. Like Tupuya, thank you for gifting a tier one sub to AP Saul. Thornton, uh, Thorntron 6000, thank you for the six, uh, thank you for the 22 months. Uh, Anthony 12203, thank you for the 23 months. Marth Randor, thank you for the 100 bits. Great. Uh, now that, now Kai is level, now Kai is a level two, uh, <laughs> Kai. Uh, <laughs> He's a level two Kai. Yeah, it's fine. Level two Kai. Yeah, yeah two he, Kai. He, he, he does Kai damage. You know, Volk five five one. Thank you for the ten bits. I'm calling it now. In the future, a uh, member of the party is going to scream, "Damn you, Emperor Zombie!" <laughs> if you get this <laughs> reference, you are very cool. Damn you, oh. Professor Zombie! I got you. I got you, fam. Akazar, thank you for the 500 bits. Try out our, our more powerful, more durable second level characters. Uh, <laughs> now with our, our spit reinforced mache technology. <laughs> yeah. We got maybe machetes. a little bit of like, you have like a little bit of like craft glue in there, just a little bit. I just saw the fan art. Of, I, of I, 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 the bowl. Yeah. <laughs> I still <laughs> laugh. Just fucking yeah, use this. Yeah. <laughs> He's got this fucking like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle front face smile going on. <laughs> It's clean. <laughs> Blackfoot Fair, thank you for the elite bits. The stone is no longer dark. You have killed chaos. <clears throat> chaos. Stellar Coyote, thank you for the 100 bits. All this talk of snails reminds me of the Order of the Stick. The party fought a vampiric half-dragon, half-troll, lycanthropic, fiendish, phrenic snail. <laughs> Tremble at biological glory. I'm sorry, what? Fucking whoa! Yeah, that's a lot of half action. dragon, half troll, lycanthropic, fiendish, phrenic snail. Okay. Yo, Bone Welk in, in Pulmonada was just one skelly boy. He was just looking for shit. <laughs> yeah, he was looking for. He was looking through the dead houses in Pulmonada. He was just boy. The skulls are looking beautiful today. If I use a coupon, I can get I five dollars off. Inflation's <laughs> going up. You gotta be careful. <laughs> Going through, going through the motions. The only thing that's going through his head is. <laughs> and if we, we we were to attack him, your days are numbered, Welk. Noot. <laughs> and then all of us drop dead. <laughs> Just a Doug Walker scream, and then we all die. <laughs> Uh, crit scratch. Think of the ten bits episode title: the snail question. Uh, Storm Fox one one six. Thank you for the twenty five months. Can I place bets on what on Circle of Stars for Escan and Necromancer for Kai? Because those are what I bet on. You can place bets on whatever you like, but don't bet your money away. Don't bet the thing. house. Unless we get it, then please bet it. Come <laughs> on. Uh, Fork uh, over. Magic Ninjago, thank you for the 100 bets. Finally, Demo House Sonata. Indeed. Damn it. Like Tabuya123, thank you for getting a tier one sub to Dice Legends. Hey. 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 Riotous Frog, thank you for the 100 bets. Die Hard Dice! Throw something. <laughs> Uh, the Atom Bomb 35, thank you for the bit. Uh, guess it cut out, but it's like, I like them big, I like them chunky as the stranger leaves. Oh, yeah, stranger's caked up. Uh, Retro Royal Knight, thank you for the 25 months. Elite Kit, thank you for the five bits. Uh, title suggestion, so many bones. Fantastic, Callum. Thank you for the 50 bits. Downside, the battlefield is now covered in the skeletons of your dead loved ones. On the plus side, now the snail has more clothes. <laughs> Silver <laughs> lining, we didn't now. really care all that much. Hmm. I'm, I'm uh, going to be that guy. <laughs> Fooly Cooly 9000, thank you for the 100 bits. Uh, in before Kai just starts taking a level in every class. <laughs> So like the old that, fashioned uh, bard. <laughs> uh, that would be absurd. Um, fantastic, Callum. Thank you for the 50 bits. Uh, the Outsider. 
guys, I'm trying to sneak up on these wolves, but I'm dummy thick. I regret saying that, man. It's everyone's like, he's got a big butt. I'm like, I don't want to answer that. But I have, I, have, I have good news for you. Generally, athletic people, like genuinely athletic people, have very good butts. I mean, yeah, it's a muscle. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. You take take that information as well, you will. Well, it was either he was going to be fucking svelte as fuck or he's going to have a dad bod. So you couldn't <laughs> yeah. win either which way. It's, it's a lose-lose for me. Um, Do we have any additional episode titles? Uh, because... I think that's actually it for the bits and subs. So there's two uh, that I like, which is Let the Dead Rest, and the other one I is so, like many one. so Many Bones as well. Let the Dead Rest feels better. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, I've, 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 I've got one. What? Mm -hmm. Live and Let Die. Ooh. Yeah, I'm, I'm about it. I'm about, I'm about it. that too. That's right. also a fighting game reference. I'm also about yeah, that. Yeah, that's actually mm -hmm. pretty good. All right. Live and let die. <laughs> <laughs> Who? <laughs> Episode title, Escar No. That's yeah. excellent. <laughs> oh, I like that, though. That one's really good. But unfortunately, Damn. it's kind of a bit of a spoiler. And also, spoiler. Uh, who do we want to raid? Oh. We've got a few options here. Can I make a suggestion? Sure. Oh, actually, you know what? Uh, let me double check. Cause sometimes... Yeah, also, it, let's try to uh, prioritize people who have not a ton of uh, viewers right now as well. Oh, yeah, that's what I was going to do, but uh, the person I was going to suggest looks like they're doing a mature only stream. So. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, all my, and all my friends are in the triple digits, so. Theros uh, got 11 people. Yeah, Theros got 11. There There's is also a... Kieran as well has got 40. He uh, might have it on followers only though. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, followers only is fine. It's subscribers only that we don't. Right, 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 right. Yeah, we yeah. don't go into. Uh... Uh... Yeah, like I said, all anyone else I would have suggested is in the triple digits at this point. All right. Are you guys okay to possibly re raid Theropod? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. All right. Please note, if he's listening to the episode, do not spoil it. No spoilers. Be nice. If you spoil it, we'll kill you in Minecraft. Although I do think he was listening along for a little bit of it. But it's, still, it's true. No spoilers. It's true. You saw it. Gaius punches trees. You don't want uh, that to be you. What is our raid message going to be? Watch out for snails. Uh, snail patrol? It's got to be snail related. Come on. Yeah. Watch the salt. <laughs> mm, hold on. Uh, snail I'm, I'm mail. Oh, snail mail is cute. Snail mail is cute. Snail, snail, snail mail. Really snail cute. mail. Like That's it. really cute. I like snail mail. All get, right. Get, snail get, mail. get the fucking snail emote. It's free. It, if you just just look it up on Google, you'll snail. find it. Post it. Snail Turbo mail. snail. See everybody tomorrow for the interview. Yeah. Bye. Dice Bye. legend. Newt, newt. <laughs>